wild, pristine holy land. At the martial arts arena, a man's voice rang out. Have you heard anything? This disciple of the seven elders is, a group of gangsters and martial artists were chatting. The person who spoke was a guy with half a shiny bald head. He emphasized the four words, eight, great, beautiful, and human. These words caused the other two men to gasp in surprise and cry out something. The gangsters became more excited. Really why do I have to use twelve points of strength to perform? I heard that the elders have not accepted disciples for several decades. I don't know why today they broke announcing that he wanted to accept a disciple. The half-headed bald man confidently said that anyway. This time I intend to use my handsome appearance and my twenty-one centimeters potato to conquer the seven elders. Hurry up and get rid of all of you. Hearing that, the crowd laughed loudly. Ha 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 when will you grow your hair back completely? Making him angry. You guys are jealous of my handsomeness and my twenty-one centimeters potato. At the same time a foot stepped forward, that was. A red-haired boy appeared. He is Zhang Guni, the person who traveled through time to this world. I am the person who has been beaten by human rights 99,000 times, just need to be beaten a thousand more times to hide the physical nature of the dragon. We can successfully activate it. I have to find a way to make these people angry and attack me. He thoughtfully looked at the other people talking. So do you guys have a secret method to help your hair grow longer? Or should you just shave it all off, teacher? 21 centimeters is a hot trend. Suddenly a pair of long, slender legs stepped forward. Wow, isn't this John Guni? The blonde woman with a fiery body named Ling Ling said, A few days ago I broke all your ribs. I thought you had died a long time ago. But I didn't expect that you were not only okay but still alive so well, you came. What are you doing here? Do you also want to worship the seventh elder as a monk? The fisherman thought profanely, This public bitch and her gang of bitches would lead people to torture me every three days. Last time, if it weren't for the help system, I would have long been drinking tea with the king of hell. And saw Mu stone but today I encountered. He smiled in the most sinister way. Finally, I don't need to endure her anymore. A group of tall, burly men stood in front of the fisherman. Boy, didn't you hear your senior sister asking you, do you also want to pay respect to the seven elders as a monk? He replied without fear, yes, I just want to participate in selecting disciples of your seventh elders. In my heart, I want to make these guys crazy so that they can hit me with a thousand punches and then hide my dragon body. My substance will be activated. After hearing this, everyone's blood boiled. The brat tells you the truth. Seventh elder announced that this time, Sister Lang Lang, I must definitely win it. If you look outside the sect, there is only Sister Lang who wants to have the appearance. Only Senior Sister Lang is suitable for being the Seventh Elder's disciple. If you don't want to be beaten, go away quickly and don't get in the way of Senior Sister Lang's appearance. Guni said calmly, It's funny that the Seventh Elder's selection is to choose people with talent, not servants. Talent can be used as a fart. There really is a place to choose people for their appearance. I saw at the foot of that mountain that there was a place called Ngutian Lao that was recruiting girls. Very suitable for that tomb. The men heard that and shouted loudly, You, you bastard dare to disrespect senior sister Lang. It's unforgivable. Lang Ngu innocently asked Ngu Tian Lao what that thing was. A frightened man whispered into her ear, insulting his sister. This brat dares to insult her. Ngu Tian Lao is Tan Lao. Ling Ling heard that and got angry and shouted. What? Lang Ngu was so angry that he gritted his teeth. John Guni actually dared to compare me to a prostitute. I won't forgive you today. Her face looks like she's turned into a devil. John Guni said while acting like a young girl in her twenties, You, what do you want to do? I warn you, you, if you come near me. I will. Ling Ling walked up to him with a dangerous look and said if I come close, what will you do? Guni got into a prepared position, he said coldly, If you come closer I will punch your mouth open. He threw a punch that made his mouth spit out blood and mix his teeth and lips, and flew all the way towards the brick wall. When the juniors saw this, they couldn't help but panic and worry. They were talking nonsense about their sister. The fisherman was in a position where he had just thrown a punch. His hand was still steaming. He repeated his warning. I told you not to come close. Seeing the mausoleum lying in the rubble, her disciples immediately became angry. Is this kid crazy? Yet you dare to attack senior sister Lang Gu. Brothers, hurry up and give that brat a fight. They rushed towards the fisherman, shouting boy. It seems like you're itchy after a few days without being beaten. But you beat our goddess like that, I can't forgive you. All because of love for the goddess. He held his head, smiled and thought, that's what I meant. The crowd kept beating their mouths and cursing, you go die. If the seventh elder saw our strength and courage, he might accept us as his disciples. Hit hard brothers, Zhang Guni is really strong, 
He won't kill you, brothers, don't be afraid, he won't die. We understand this very clearly. John Nguyen was beaten but his heart was extremely happy, a group of ignorant people at the bottom of society, waiting for my hidden dragon physique to explode, everyone here wants to accept me as a disciple, I see until then. Who wants to accept you, keep going, he he, there are still five hundred punches left, hurry up and fight faster, at this moment, a blue-haired beauty is witnessing everything. Even though her figure is small, the hills and mountains are also rolling, each round after another. Huanoi had asked the old butler, who is that guy who is being beaten? Elder Seven, that person is the outer sex handyman disciple Zhang Guni. Even outsiders often call him trash. Hearing that, she immediately thought, what a waste. Three hundred years ago, my genius disciples fell one after another this time. She and Noyet jumped out of the citadel. As she flew to Zhang Guni's place, she thought, I will take a useless disciple away. Seeing this, the old butler sighed sadly and said, because he did not want innocent people to die miserably. The seventh elder had not accepted a disciple for thirty years, this time being forced to accept a disciple. I don't know if it was a blessing or not. Oh, when Huayu landed, the curses continued to ring out, beating this trash to death. Revenge for Sister Ling Ling. How dare a piece of trash like you show your face to participate in this election? She strode to the fisherman's place and raised her voice. Everyone stopped for me. The result of collecting the things was decided. The crowd also stopped their movements and focused their attention on Huan Noyet. Two guys with faces full of gangsters questioned her. We haven't seen the seventh elder yet. How can the outcome of the collection be set? Little Loli, you can't talk nonsense. A guy still smiling took out candy to please promise Moon. When the baby girl will grow up to be a great beauty, uncle, can you give me a lollipop? However, Huan Noyet passed by like a gust of wind with an uncaring attitude that made the men turn to stone and stiffen. She walked up to the fisherman and called, Little boy, you have been chosen. Promise Noyet's words made him cry out in shock. I, I was chosen. The fisherman opened his mouth as if he couldn't believe what he just heard. The gangsters also panicked and spoke to each other because they felt it was unreasonable. What are you saying? The seventh elder was famous in the battlefield of the holy region. With her identity and position, how could she choose this trash Zhang Guni as her disciple? Where did the little girl come from? How could she talk nonsense like that? If the little girl continues to talk nonsense, uncle will not love you anymore. Lang Ge held his bruised cheek, pointed straight at Huan Noyet and shouted, That brat, you are ignoring our group. She looks extremely dangerous and threatened Xu Yue. The seventh elder will not be stupid enough to accept a trash like a fisherman as a slave. If you are still here talking nonsense, don't blame me. Before he could finish the proverbial sentence, he received another stab from the word promise moon and the word get out. This time the blow was so strong that it caused her hair to fall loose and then somersault in the air. Then it landed at the corner of the wall earlier, creating a terrible vibration. Huanoi yet glanced at the language and finished a sentence, rambling long and annoyingly. I was beaten to death, my face darkened, you, you wretched girl. But you, dare to hit me? She was so angry that she turned into a ghost and shouted loudly. Everyone listen to what I say. Whoever can break this brat's leg first today, I will go on a date with that person tonight. When the gangsters heard that, everyone was excited because of the two words, date and tonight. Thanks to the motivation of the butterfly and Ling Ling's date night, the men's morale has been greatly improved. How we've been waiting for this for a long time, the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity has finally come. He <laughs> he. I also don't have any intention with senior sister Lang. Mainly I want to educate this kid. The sooner I educate him, the better. A bunch of old goats and young goats raised their fists and rushed towards Huan Noyet. Little Loli, don't blame your uncle's group for being cruel. This is all because you found it yourself. At this moment, Zhang Guni jumped out to block Huan Noyet. Wait, if you want to touch her, you have to step over my body first. Seeing that, she asked suspiciously, Hey kid, did I say I needed a protector? No matter what you say, you are in this situation because you want to help me. What's more, my skin is thick and I'm not afraid of being beaten, so go quickly. The words of chivalry were only on the surface. But in fact, in my heart, I thought, just a few more punches, my hidden dragon physique will awaken. How could I miss this opportunity? I'm so smart, he. The men saw this and became even more enthusiastic. John Guni, you want to be a hero, right? He immediately opened his arms wide to wait for the loving blows. Huan Noyet smiled with satisfaction. Although this kid is just a weak guy, his heart is not bad at all. It seems I said something big this time. Next, Behind the fisherman, only the shadow of the moon remained. She jumped over his head. With just one touch of his foot, an earthquake was created that caused the group of people to be thrown back. The gangsters were extremely surprised. I couldn't predict this move. Can. 
Let me do it again. Xian Noye Tran's eyes were full of murderous intent. Her appearance was beautiful even though she was fighting, she said, my disciple, can you also touch it? Lang Ngu saw this and was both surprised and somewhat scared. What? Who is this little girl? With just one kick, he can send all opponents flying. Zhang Guni was closing his eyes, waiting to be beaten, but he hadn't seen anything yet. He opened his eyes in bewilderment. Hmm, why haven't we been beaten yet? The scene before his eyes made him cry out in panic. What is this? Why are they all lying around? Huan Noyet stood in the middle of the dent in the tile floor, surrounded by people who were dying. Zhang Guni looked at Huan Noyet and was startled. Could it be that she did it? He was so shocked that he was completely disfigured. This little girl was too violent. At this moment, the defense team appeared aggressively. The captain is a man full of spirit and speaks up. Who dares to cause trouble here? Like a drowning man reaching for a stake. She thought she's a member of the defense patrol. It's great that these people came at the right time. Lang Gu quickly ran out to denounce them. Patrol officer, you have to take charge of me. The one causing trouble here is that little girl. That girl not only forged the seventh elder's order, but also even if you don't know what's wrong with us. The captain looked at the direction her hand was pointing and said, What? She and you glanced coldly. Seeing her, everyone on the patrol guard team was startled and surprised, thinking it was her. They immediately rushed forward. Lang Gu smiled with wild joy. Little girl. Your life is ready. Suddenly the guard patrol knelt to the ground. They clasped their hands and bowed their heads in unison. The servants paid their respects to the seventh elder. This scene made Zhang Guni surprised and think, What? The outer sect disciples also had eyes and mouths. Lang Gu was shaking like a leaf. Was she the seventh elder? The captain of the guard patrol loudly reminded you. Why are you all standing there blankly? Don't kneel yet. A group of people knelt around Xian Yu and shouted loudly, To see the seventh elder. Seven elders. Disciples have eyes but do not know the mountain. I hope that the elders will be generous. Lingering as if he couldn't believe what just happened. How? How is that possible? She, she's clearly just a miserable little girl. How is Lon the seventh elder? When the captain of the guard patrol heard that, he was angry and prepared to draw his sword and act arrogantly. He was just an outer sect disciple, but he dared to disgrace the elder. You are looking for death. Lang Lang is extremely scared and immediately admits his mistake. No need. I. I was wrong. She curled her ass and bowed until she couldn't see her face, trembling and saying, hoping that the seventh elder would forgive her. I am an outer sect disciple of Lang. Before she could finish her sentence, she and you extinguished all hope. Okay, I'm not interested in your name. Ling Ling thought in shock. What? The seventh elder is actually too lazy to hear my name. Huan Noyet turned to Zhang Guni and called his name. He immediately replied that he had a disciple. Feeling a little worried, Maybe he wanted to punish me for what just happened. From now on, you will be my disciple. Promise Noyet's words made me surprised. What? Juan Noyet glanced at him seriously and said, follow me. Suddenly, Zhang Guni raised his hand to stop, making Juan Noyet feel strange. H.M.? He sadly frowned and said, Seventh Elder, although you are a lowly, no. Master protected me quite well, but for me, it's not what I expected. I want to, inside I think, lowly is great, but I can't take it anymore. I already have a system. Just being beaten will increase my strength. I basically don't need a master. Hua Noyet also said very kindly, It's up to you. Nguni bowed and smiled and replied, Thank you, Elder Seven. It's fine, consider it as if I spared an innocent person. Thinking about it, I turned and left. While the fisherman still happily waved his hand to send people off, the outer sect disciples couldn't help but feel dissatisfied. Damn ice. This kid actually rejected the seventh elder. Is it possible that this Zhang Guni guy is not only trash, but his brain is also rotten? I heard that the seventh elder with a reputation for beating people is very cruel. This kid knows that he is a waste. He is afraid of being beaten to death, so he does not dare to worship the teacher. The rumors of the crowd reached Zhang Guni's ears. He immediately changed 180 degrees, causing the two of them to wonder, why did this guy's eyes light up? Looking at the fisherman, he was full of love and thinking, is he known to beat people so cruelly? You are extremely excited, with the strength of a seventh elder. Hitting me with one punch is equivalent to a hundred punches of an ordinary person. Every free day with nothing to do, you can annoy her and get a few slaps, isn't that? Master, wait for me. Nguni immediately chased after Hua Noyet, she stopped too. He immediately knelt down to show off his cool skill of sliding on the tile floor with his knees, then break right next to Xian Noyet's foot. The fisherman turned into a little dog and hugged her leg tightly. Master, please don't leave yet, about this admission matter. 
I think we can discuss it again. Juan no yet is confused. Didn't you just disagree? As you just heard, I am extremely strict with my disciples and beat people extremely cruelly. The little dog fisherman not only took advantage of the opportunity to caress Xian Noyet's legs but also pleased her. Oh my, it's okay. I have always been very strict with myself. The two of us, masters and disciples, are truly a match made in heaven. They are both great and proud, unparalleled in this world. His flattering words also made Juan Noyet smile and think, this little guy is really interesting. If you have decided, say it while wearing the fisherman's shirt. Come with me. Juan Noyet immediately jumped off the ground and soared into the sky, holding Zhang Geni who was gritting her teeth in fear. Oh my heel. I'm flying. Everyone who stayed behind was upset because they felt unfair. This, this is too unreasonable. Why did this Zhang Geni join the eight elder subordinates so easily? Zhang Geni, what kind of luck are you having? A piece of trash like him is respected by the eight elders? A bad guy said evilly while looking at the magic mirror. No matter my talent or appearance, if compared to that guy Zhang Guni, it would be ten thousand times more. How could the seventh elder take him seriously? Him. The most hot-blooded person here is definitely Lang Gu. She struggled to stand up. Zhang Guni, today you dare to insult me. I will definitely find you to reclaim both capital and interest. You, wait for me. The mausoleum turned around and left when a group of purple and black clouds appeared. In the midst of that aura, a woman's face appeared and said, Her personality, physical condition, circumstances all meet the requirements, so choose her. That face immediately appeared before Ling Ling's eyes and asked her, Little lady, do you want to enter the inner sect? Lang Lang cried out in fear, You, who are you? The purple face confidently said, I am the one who can help you enter the inner sect. Moreover, I can also help you kill that guy Zhang Guni and avenge you. Ling Ling was startled and confused. You, why do you want to help me? I just naturally want to make a deal with you. As I spoke, my purple face created an arm that transmitted a source of energy into the head of the language. What? Ling Ling suddenly became extremely panicked. You want me to kill you? Shush. That purple face raised his finger to signal silence and said, Soon, the intersex people will come to pick you up. Remember our agreement. Don't tell anyone this secret. Otherwise, the outbreak also slowly dissipated. If you only echo three words, you will die. The mausoleum silently watched. Then she decided to think, I am a linguist, not someone anyone can manipulate. In the original holy land, in the holy temple, a woman dressed in blue was bowing her head and reporting to a woman lying on a chair with a seductive posture. That's exactly how it happened. Kuang Mang Van clasped his hands in front of his huge chest and said, Holy Master, Seventh Elder has not accepted a disciple for thirty years. This time you were forced to accept a disciple, and intentionally accepted a trash. This is clear. Is challenging you. The saintly master lying on the chair had a body that could be said to be singing, she replied, she knew. Then a ray of light flashed in his hand. That ray of light formed a sacred thread that fell straight into Kuang Cloud's hand. The holy master commanded that within three months, he would be stripped of Xi and Noyet. Luo Vi sat up as he spoke, revealing his S-shaped body. The slave received the order. Those eyes are full of danger and murderous aura, sister. Don't blame me for being cruel. After all, only your disciple can open that secret realm. At this moment in the mysterious northern mountain landscape, a blue light flew across the sky at a terrible speed. We're here. Huan Noyet and Zhang Guni landed right in the middle of the yard. Zhang Guni immediately turned on his excitement mode. The inner sect elder's residence was indeed very small. Compared to my thatched hut, it was too much different. Oh mom, the lady is finally back. The old butler happily greeted me. So you introduced, this is Zhang Guni. He will be the son of the North Mountain Secret Realm in the future. You talk to him about the rules, then, without letting her finish the sentence, the old butler nervously announced. Oh my lady, let's not talk about him first. That person named Kuang Mang Van came and claimed to be the servant of the Holy Master, saying he wanted to convey the Holy Master's orders. As soon as I mention you, you always come. A voice rang out, the seventh elder. Kuang Mang Van raised his holy finger and proudly said that the holy master had an order to eliminate you within three months. Hua Noyet turned around and answered indifferently, knowing. But in her heart, she couldn't help but feel angry. It seems that in the end, you guys have had enough. It's okay. Because I have also had enough. Kuang Mang Van feels strange, HM? How come there's no reaction at all? Could it be that Hua Noyet wasn't angry after hearing the news of Don Doc? The old butler saw this and shouted angrily, Little girl, you won't let us hear everything. Right. Miss Yen Mon was seriously injured because of the sect in the past thirty years. Don't you know how many big problems she encountered? But now you want to stop the medicine? 
John and Gunny also felt sorry for Hua Noyet. It turned out that Elder Seven was seriously injured. No wonder outside rumors that she hadn't picked up anything for thirty years. Kwong Mang Van bowed his head and pretended to sympathize and replied, I can't blame the Holy Master even if I cut the medicine job. I also pointed it out. I can only blame the seventh elder for taking in a trash person. Then she immediately turned around and smiled disdainfully. Hearing that, thousands of question marks appeared around you. Nay, is it because of me? Kwong Mang Van pretended to feel regretful. Hmm, not even a bit of spiritual energy on his body. It was truly a waste. Nguni suddenly had an idea. Oh well, this guy came to provoke me, provoke her and hit me a few times, then my hidden dragon physique should be able to awaken. If you stand there for me, Kwong Mang Van will also listen to you and turn around HM. John Guni's eyes were full of provocation. If you think I'm trash, then do you dare to compete with me? Kwong Man Van is not suitable either. Her eyes look at him with murderous intent. A trash like you dares to challenge me? Do you think that if I become a disciple of a seventh elder, I won't dare to provoke you? This scene made Huan Noyet somewhat surprised and thought, this kid actually wants to come out for me. The old butler whispered fearfully into his ear, Brat. This woman in front of him is the holy master's maid. Her status is not the same as that of ordinary people. You provoke her. The seventh elder cannot help you. Ah, John Gunny heard this and then patted his chest and said loudly like a true gentleman, You don't need to stop me. If this guy insults me I can let it go. But if you still dare to insult the master, I can't sit down. Rest in peace, as the saying goes. One day a master. That's not right. One day a master. A lifetime a master. I as a disciple of course need to protect the master's dignity, even if I have to die. My determination his words made the old butler's eyes widen in shock. Was this kid telling the truth or not? It turns out that just now it was just a fisherman's performance. In fact, you are extremely sinister. Not only will I awaken every hidden dragon's physical body, I can also make the seventh elder owe me a favor once. This purchase is truly faultless. His words just made Kwong Mang Van angry. A trash like you also protects the dignity of others? Guni happily replied, Are you worthy? Whether I am worthy or not, you can try and see. Come, come, come. Don't say I bully women. I'll give you a first move. If you want to die, then I will do it for you. I said, Light of clouds. And raised one leg high to rush to the place of John Guni. Before he could figure it out, a knee appeared right before his eyes. And then the fisherman was hit with a thunderous kick, sending his whole body flying into the wall. The old butler saw him unconscious and thought in fear, it's not over. The old man trembled and said to Hua Noyet, Miss, he, she calmly replied, it's okay. With the fish's strength, his mouth doesn't let go of people, it's just a normal thing for him to eat some onions. Just a day, Kuang Mang Van both disdained and warned Zhang Guni, the first level of qi refinement cultivation is also worthy of challenging me. Respect seventh elder, today save your life, there will be a next time, don't blame me. Suddenly his voice rang out, this time isn't over yet. Why are we already talking about the next time? The system screen appears. The flying dragon in the sky system has suffered enough times. One million. One hundred percent of the hidden dragon's physical condition has been activated. John Guni slowly sat up. The person just felt a little refreshed. Next it's time for me to feel refreshed. Huanoyet witnessed another surprise. She thought, John Guni. How? Feels a bit. Not like before. Kuang Nak Van immediately got into a position to prepare to throw his fist but was actually able to stand up. Continue lying down for me. This time he refused to stay quiet. The fisherman also kicked. You are the one who should lie down. The two attacks collided, creating a shocking explosion. Just thinking that they would overwhelm the fisherman again, the light python's arms suddenly made a cracking sound because they were broken. Kwong Man Van just had time to cry out. This guy is hacking, when his feet were right in front of him. And so this time the one who took the kick turned out to be her. Kwong Mang Van could only make a few sounds. The fisherman's kick sent her hand flying across the tile floor like a stone gliding across water. He approached the place where the bricks were chipped due to the great force of destruction and the light python clouds were lying around. At this moment, she was almost no longer human, so she spoke up, defeated by a level 1 weapon refiner like me. Are you happy? His eyes coldly looked down. Her bright and cloudy face seemed unable to return to its original shape. She trembled as she said, I... I am already at the peak of alchemy, you... How, how, could, the fisherman's heart is now at an evil stage, he is so happy and arrogant that his nose is completely long, hehehe. <laughs> I didn't expect that as soon as I worshipped the master, I would activate my hidden dragon physique. This master is definitely worthy of worship, quickly looking at my current level of strength, 
John Guni confidently touched the system screen with his finger. The flying dragon is in the system of heaven. John Guni, the hidden dragon's physique has been activated. Ability, invincible atmosphere training, the proficiency of the hidden dragon's physique, 1%. He is happy. This hidden dragon's physique is also it's so powerful, it can actually give me an invincible atmosphere to practice. He stroked his chin thoughtfully and said, I heard that the most outstanding disciple of the Mu Tran Kuang sect was just at the peak of his chi training which means, among all the disciples in the original holy land, I am invincible. Zhang Guni was so happy that he was in full bloom. After a whole year of being beaten like a miserable boy, Zhang Guni felt so sorry for himself that he cried like rain, Huhu. I'm so miserable. After taking so many beatings, I finally got revenge, and so he kept crying and laughing at the same time, I'm great. I am the best. I'm so miserable. I'm such a loser pool. The image makes the old manager can't help but see three dots. Is this kid just getting beaten up so he's crazy? Why are you crying and laughing at the same time? John Guni, Huan Noyet suddenly walked in front of you, master. I quickly want to show off, master. If you watch me, you can. The fisherman suddenly stopped, stopped for about two seconds. Seeing Huan Noyet's face as if he was about to kill someone, he also realized the seriousness, this atmosphere. Something was wrong. Huan Noyet coldly asked, John Guni, are you actually hiding your strength? He was so scared that his face turned purple. He trembled and replied, This, Master, you listened to my explanation. I really, I really just made a breakthrough. Before he could finish his sentence, he immediately slapped Su Shuyan with a scream, and even dared to lie to me. Hidden Dragon Physical Proficiency System, 38%. One more punch sent his teeth flying out. You're truly a traitor. Do you know why I want to take you in? Also because you are a trash. Potential Dragon Physical Proficiency Notification System, 69%. I don't think you're a trash. On the contrary, he is also a genius. Huan Noyet shoots straight to Nguni's stomach. System of Potential Dragon Physical Proficiency, 98%. Looking at him eating onions, the old butler could only wipe away his sweat and laugh, cursing that it was love, hitting was hurt. Young man, don't blame the young lady. My lady was so excited that she was afraid of your death. John Guni's face was more swollen than being stung by a bee. He trembled and hugged his legs. Master you, you're angry, you're out, your arms are too heavy, your body can't bear it, can you give me some help? Let's rest a bit, and then whip again. What I hate most is being lied to by others. If you're not a waste, then I will, shout at Xian Yu while launching my key move, doom a thunder punch, turning you into waste. At this time Huan Noyet's energy focused on the pole form in her hand. But really, in my heart, Xian Yu thought, John Guni, I'm sorry, but becoming trash is better than you having to die. Seeing her like that, the fisherman was scared and cried and begged, Please let me go. Master, you're really playing. Huan Noyet's move stabbed straight into his chest, making him extremely frightened and let out a howl. Hidden Dragon's Physical Proficiency Level System, 99%. Dragon Injection Physical Proficiency, 100%. Suddenly his whole body emitted a bright yellow light. The scene made Huan Noyet feel very strange, huh? A source of energy from Zhang Guni is gradually reflecting back towards her. What is happening? Zhang Guni's body exudes this energy. A yellow light covered Shi Yue's body, causing her to cry out in pain a b c d. The old butler was worried and ran over to save you, young lady. Then suddenly the energy source surrounding Zhang Guni and Shi Yan Noyet grew bigger like a ball about to explode. A moment later, the smoke and dust dispersed. Huan Noyet's face was full of shock. I, have I actually recovered? Huan Noyet is no longer a little girl but has become a beauty with green skin. The old butler couldn't believe his eyes. Miss, you, you, you actually restored your true self and then the illusion of Canada Shizuka squeezed Nobita's ass. Just now, it was John Guni's energy. It drove an unknown energy inside my body. Huan Noyet wondered, could it be that John Guni's doing that I restored my true body? Wow, master has grown up. John Guni. Even though his body is covered in injuries, still smiles and speaks. Moreover, underneath is still white. Huan Noyet curiously asked, What is white? She immediately turned to stone when she realized what he was talking about. Item name. White underwear with blue flower buds starting price. Five monthly tickets. You see death. Oni I Chan Baka Hentai. Huan Noyet blushed and angrily punched the screen and broke Zhang Guni. Huan Noyet's whole body emitted a deadly murderous aura. She interrogated the fisherman like a criminal saying, what did you see? John Guni's injuries were bandaged to the point that he was no longer intact. His body kept shaking, master. I really, really haven't seen anything. 
I'll forgive you because I haven't seen anything yet. After speaking, Xian Yu turned around and left, leaving Zhang Guni thinking sadly, the master is absolutely a female devil, beating me even more cruelly, when he helped me. Deal with profanity too. Huan Noyet ordered the old butler, the old man, to give all the remaining medicinal herbs in the warehouse to him for use. I want him to appear in front of me tomorrow. He panicked and replied, What? Want to use medicinal herbs still in stock? Miss, the sect has ordered you to cut off the medicine. If you give all the medicine to the young master, what should you do now? The old butler was extremely worried, but Xian Yu only said, Just listen to what I say. She thought, John Guni's energy can actually help me restore my true body. If I can figure out the reason, maybe I won't need to use medicine in the future. Hua Noyet's command made Zhang Guni very emotional. The remaining medicinal herbs were given to me by my master. As expected, she still loves me. I also love the color white. No, I love you too, master. At this moment in the secret realm of Peach Pearl, a woman's voice rang out. What? The holy master stole the seventh elder's three months of medicinal rites? Moreover, the seventh elder also injured the maid of the holy master Nuremberg. A man bowed his head and reported to the woman standing next to the alchemy furnace. The man replied yes. The second elder Lin Ha is a beautiful woman with long black hair. She can't help but feel restless and worried. For the past thirty years, seven sisters' injuries have had to rely on the sex elixir to treat her. Three months, seven sisters are afraid. Kai Van, quickly come with me to the northern mountain secret realm. I want to go see seven sister. Peach Chow's secret realm's disciple Kai Van immediately obeyed the order, clearly. In the mysterious scenery of Yao Shan, a hand wearing a purple glove continuously spins a dart. Very interesting. The fourth elder prince is sitting on a chair. Her purple outfit makes her figure even more fiery. Next to her is a woman wearing a cloak named Tin Thursday Tui, a disciple of Yao Shan's secret realm. The prince said, 340 years, Xian Yu, you depended on making contributions for the sex so you worked without any hesitation but even the holy master's maid dared to attack. The prince's eyes lit up with excitement. I really wanted to see what would happen next. In the secret realm of Lin Tuang, a pink-haired woman slowly stood up and said that Huan Noyet had been injured thirty years ago. Her strength had decreased, and her body looked more and more like a little girl. Hee hee, I really want to take a look, see if there is no fairy provided by the sect. Will she turn into a child or not? The person who was laughing and talking sinisterly was the sixth elder Zhou Asia. She had a very seductive beauty with a round speaker. Zhou Asia commanded as if inviting, be patient, help the teacher carry the shoes. I want to go see Northern Mountain's secret scene. Obeying orders, the handsome man Muk Tran Kwong was a mysterious spirit. He looked at her passionately, and slowly lifted her feet to put on her red high heels. The next morning, when the sun wakes up, the rooster also crows, wake up, grandpa. Zhang Guni opened her mouth, and yawned as wide as possible. He stretched his arms and stretched. It was still early, so sleepy, the potential dragon's physical condition was really good. Yesterday, after absorbing all of my master's elixir, all my injuries have completely recovered. However, speaking of my physical mastery of the hidden dragon, it has already reached 100%. What should I do next to make a breakthrough? Do you want me to continue being beaten? While he was stroking his chin in wonder, a blue light flew from the sky and landed some distance behind him. Hearing footsteps, he immediately turned around. Lin Ha went first. Kai Van followed behind carrying a lot of medicinal pills. This scene made Zhang Guni let out a wail sound. Looking at the backs of the two people who had just passed by, Zhang Guni's eyes and mouth were drooling, thinking, Is there a fairy sister coming? This pristine holy land is truly filled with beautiful women. Hua Noya didn't know where she flew down from, second sister, why are you here? When she saw her, she was startled, lost her sister. Lin Ha grabbed Hua Noya and asked in surprise, You, have you recovered? It's just temporary. Huan Noyet's answer made Lin Ha regretful. It turns out it was only temporary. Lin Ha reached out to Kai Van and said then quickly take these medicinal pills and eat them. I heard that the Holy Master gave you medicinal pills, so I quickly prepared some medicinal pills for you. Is this the medicinal pills that Senior Sister hastily refined? While Huan Noyet asked in confusion, Lin Ha replied happily, Yes, for fear of delaying your injury. Hung Noyet was afraid to refuse that. I see, there's no need. The old butler saw this and thought uneasily. The second lady is famous for being negligent, although she is very good at alchemy. It's awesome, but I always make mistakes. Last time I ate a shelter pill, I almost reincarnated. Remember back then, I was also a beautiful man. The old butler cried and regretted his old self. His muscular, bearded and handsome body had no way out. 
Seventh Sister, are you hating Second Sister's medicinal pills? This is the Second Sister's determination to refine. Seeing Lin Ha crying, she and Noyet quickly waved her hand to comfort. Second Sister, don't think too much. It's not that I hate your medicinal pills, it's just, merely, already have. Huan Noyet suddenly remembered that there was Zhang Guni over there. He was now drooling. This side was as big as a watermelon. That side was as big as a watermelon. Both sisters were top quality. Hua Yu's voice called out, Zhang Guni, come here. As if the fisherman had been scratched at the right place, he quickly ran to the master. Even if it means going across the mountain, the master just says, the disciple will not refuse. Huan Noyet said, the teacher's attack on you yesterday was a bit heavy and injured you, so you should quickly eat all of these medicinal pills. Wow. Master has been so kind to his disciples. Master, I love you the most in this world. John Gani, because she didn't know anything, happily hugged the medicinal pills. Lin Ha felt a little upset when she saw this. Seven sisters, this is what I prepared for you. If I collect things again, what good will it do? Naturally, the disciples will use it first. She and Noyet threatened, he couldn't eat even one piece, because he was the only one who didn't understand. John Guni was still happy as if he had found gold. Master, if you say so, here I am. I'm not being polite. After saying that, he immediately poured all the medicinal pills into his mouth. The old butler wanted to stop him, but seeing him like that, he could only gasp in shock and think, if the young master eats like that, I'm afraid his feet will go cold. John Guni was so moved that even though he was chewing medicinal pills, his eyes were wet with tears and snot. He gave me so many medicinal pills, it was clear that the master loved me very much. Lin Ha immediately asked, How do you see? How do you see? Is the medicinal pill I make delicious? The fisherman immediately nodded in response, Um, um, this medicinal pill. Suddenly his eyes opened wide as if they were about to pop out. H.M.? No. No way. The system now sounds a warning. John Guinea's five senses were numb. His face was pale. His mouth was foaming. His nerves were racing. He even farted. Then forcefully said, You, this pill of yours, is like ah. Uh, like yes, yes, poisonous. Even if he said the last word, he would also shroud it. Looking at John Guni, his soul left his body. Kai Van, Huan Noyet and the old butler could only feel helpless. Lin Ha is somewhat panicked, is it? Toxic? It's impossible. I practice medicine in the entire holy temple and it's rumored far and wide. How can it be poisonous? Hey, you've all used my medicinal pills. Tell me, is the medicinal pill I make poisonous? In response to Lin Ha's question, the three people Kai Van Huan Noyet and the old man could only turn away and laugh in unison, oh, no. No. Hearing that, Lin Ha got upset and asked Ngani, did you hear that? Everyone says it's not toxic. How dare you, brat, slander me without saying anything. He lay on the ground barely alive and said, I, I slandered you. Can't you see that I was poisoned and about to die? Lin Ha immediately knelt down on one knee next to Zhang Guni. Hmm. What you say makes a lot of sense, but there's definitely no problem with my medicine. Why do you have this kind of disease? Could it be that your cultivation level is too low and there are too many medicinal pills, leading to the inability to fully digest the medicinal effects? Lin Ha said while squeezing Guni's face and shaking him back and forth, making him even more miserable. Hey, stop researching. Save me first, and then wake up. Suddenly the fish's eyes lit up. H.M.? Wow, the master is white, and the second is blue. Thanks to lying at the foot of the galaxy, I can satisfy my passion for looking at rare goods. However, unfortunately, revealing too little, John Guni's smile gradually lost its humanity. When Lin Ha heard that, he was startled to discover something too little. She clapped her hands happily. Yes, yes, yes. We know. It's not about eating too much, it's about eating too little. Seventh sister said that yesterday you were seriously injured, and if your symptoms are serious, you will have to calm down, so you just need to eat a little more of my medicine and you'll be fine. Lin Ha smiled and brought out a large bottle of medicine that made Zhang Guni scared to death just seeing it. What? Do you want me to eat more? That's right. I definitely didn't eat enough, so I want to eat a little more. Come, 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 come. You're very lucky, my child. Normal people don't get to eat as many rare medicinal pills as you. Lin Ha happily poured the whole bottle of medicinal pills into Zhang Guni's mouth, causing him to only shed two tears. Quickly, no need. Two, elders, I can't bear it. Huan Noyet, witnessing all this time, could only helplessly stay still. Zhang Guni raised his trembling hand to ask for help. Master, help, save me. If you refuse to take action, 
your beloved disciple will suffer, but the response I received was his attitude. The cold indifference and unblinking eyes of Juan Noyet and the old housekeeper. Miss, won't you save the young master? The second lady gave him so many medicinal pills. Will the young master be okay? The old man asked worriedly. Juan Noyet calmly replied, having gone through that year, the second sister's work was always sloppy, but in her heart, he always kept another option in mind. Although those medicinal pills had great side effects, they were not life-threatening. Hearing that, the old butler could only sigh and think, sigh, the young lady and the second lady both really like torturing others. Master, love just disappears like that. The fisherman who was having to swallow medicinal pills cried out, but he didn't expect that John knew he had been yelling at me for three years in another world, not being beaten to death by others, but instead being beaten to death by others. Poisoned to death. Suddenly the system screen appeared. The potential mastery of the hidden dragon's physical condition had reached 100%, started activating the hidden dragon energy. Because of not using enough standard medicinal pills, achieved 38 points of hidden dragon energy. Currently potential dragon energy is 38 points. The system notification made him extremely surprised and thought, huh? The system opens up new functions. The painful feeling just now caused by the medicinal pill has also disappeared. I didn't expect that the second elder's medicinal pill would help the system break the law. This thing isn't a poison, it's clearly a fairy. Lin Hao was still very excited and poured the pill bottle into Zhang Gini's mouth. Quickly open his mouth, quickly put it in for me. When the medicine pill is in, you will feel better. He quickly raised his hand to stop. Good. Second elder, slowly. How? Don't you like my medicine? Lin Ha asked with a dark face. Zhang Guni slowly replied, Yes, it's true that I'm afraid to put it in my mouth. But what I don't like is... He pointed straight at Lin Ha's face and shouted loudly, There are too few medicinal pills, second elder. I have never eaten such delicious medicinal pills. You must leave some for me. While the old butler said in surprise, WTF is this? Young master actually took the initiative to find the second elder to take the medicinal pill. The young man was going crazy after eating pills. Then Juan Noyet smiled and thought with pleasure, but he didn't expect his style of doing things to be so interesting. Oh well, finally. Finally, someone is attracted by the charm of the medicinal pills I practice. Lin Ha sobbed with emotion as if he had met a friend. This pristine holy land, you are the most observant person. Go, go, I have a place with a lot of inventory. You can eat as much as you want, I'll guarantee to fill your stomach. Lin Ha as he pulled the fisher's hand. He conveniently followed along and asked if it was true or not. This scene made Juan Noyet and the old housekeeper both look at each other in bewilderment. Second elder, my need is very great, do you want? John Guni was speaking when suddenly a loud thunder broke out. John Guni and the second elder turned around in surprise. All three of them promised Moon, as did the old butler. Saint Master Lakvi suddenly appeared in midair. John Guni curiously asked what this was. His eyes were filled with hearts again when he saw the graceful figure. Wow, there's another beautiful woman coming. Holy Master, Huanoyet's eyes sparkled with a slight sense of caution. So she is the Holy Master. John Guni thought doubtfully, why did the Holy Master come here? I still wonder if she knew I was a genius, so she came to arrest me. Promise Noyet, when you see this palace, don't kneel down. Lakvi immediately released the afternoon consciousness into Xian Noyet's person, forcing her to kneel in pain. Luo Wei's hands are constantly adding energy to his moves. His mouth is constantly blaming. Not only did you disobey this palace's wishes, you also injured this palace's maid. You are truly becoming more and more arrogant. The scene before his eyes made Zhang Guni so surprised that his mouth turned into a square shape. But he actually started directly to ask for a crime. Huan Noyet spoke out in pain and difficulty. Holy Master, that secret realm has devoured countless lives of my disciples. I don't want to involve innocent people in it. And why are you so obsessed with that thing? Do you still dare to argue? Luo Wei loudly and then releases more energy. That source of energy was like a bolt of lightning piercing Xian Noyet's body, injuring her to the point of spitting out blood. Then he was thrown into the wall causing a huge explosion. After that, Huan Noyet immediately returned to her original form. Zhang Guni witnessed one surprise after another. Master Bibi suddenly turned, turned back into Master Loli. Lin Ha saw this and quickly clasped his hands to pray. Holy Master! The old man has only just recovered his true form. I hope you will have mercy. Holy Master, I hope you will have mercy and forgive the young lady. The old butler also quickly knelt down. Wow, I said this, big sister. Suddenly the fisherman's voice rang out, startling Lak Vi. He pointed his finger at Lak Vi and loudly scolded. You didn't even ask, so you directly attacked my master? 
Obviously, your maid spoke rudely first, so I punched you without missing a beat. Directly attack isn't your target me, so why are you causing trouble for my master? While his face looked very determined, Lin Ha and the old butler were both pale. He thought, young master is so brave, yet you dare to speak on an equal footing with the saint. And even calling the holy master big sister, isn't this looking for death? Lak Fai only used one finger to attack Zhang Guni and said get out, making him unable to defend. Is this palaces made a person at a top level trash like you can hurt? You still dare to call me big sister? Find death. Lak Fai said contemptuously, Huan Noyet, this palace gives you one more chance. Immediately reselect one of the outer sect disciples, choose a genius, devote all your efforts to teaching the formation, and turn around to give orders to Huan Noyet. Huan Noyet's will is as strong as a three-legged stool, she replied, never, ever, holy master, my will is decided, even if I die, I will never involve innocent people again. Lak Fai looked at Zhang Guni who was unconscious and asked, do you think that if you are so stubborn, no innocent people will die? Carpet? Is he the new disciple you just accepted? At this time, the system notified that being hit by the Golden Dan expert, the hidden dragon's energy increased by 100 points. Xian Noyet knew Lak Fai's intentions and couldn't help but panic. Holy master, what do you want to do? You don't want innocent people to die miserably. I want to bring this innocent person to worship the king of hell, Lak Fai said while creating a giant sword made of energy. System warning. Danger. Danger. This attack has power far beyond the body's endurance. Zhang Guni then opened her eyes in a daze, her mind spinning in confusion. What's going on? The giant knife slash was right in front of his eyes, making him think he didn't have time to think anymore. This was so unreal. This trip, my feet were cold. Stop. Huan Noyet immediately appeared in front of Zhang Guni. She uses the technique of revelation to create a shield to block attacks from Vic 6. Thanks to that, the blade created from the energy source of Lak Fi was redirected to both sides, creating two not so small explosions. Master. John Guni looked bewildered at Huan Noyet, who was gritting her teeth and doing her best to protect him. Perhaps she had reached her limit because she kept coughing up blood. Seeing Huan Noyet fall, John Guni quickly rushed to help, Master. Holding her in his arms, he was extremely worried, Master, how are you feeling? But the fisherman only got coughs and coughs in response. Cough, cough. Although Hung Noyet was covered in injuries, she still stammered and reminded him, John Guni, quickly run, you must survive. This scene made him extremely surprised and exclaimed, What? Holding Huan Noyet in Zhang Guni's arms, thinking, traveling through another world for three years, no one has ever cared whether I lived or died. Although I know my master accepted me as his disciple because she has her own purpose. But just now, I really felt her. His eyes looked at Huan Noyet even more affectionately. Worried about my life and death, she was the only one who cared about my life and death. There is such a person here, how can I leave? I not only won't go, I also want to, his trembling hand clutched Huan Noyet's shoulder tightly. Zhang Guni decided to think and let her know my true value. Lord Saint, although what I said just now was a bit harsh, the story of Kuang Mang Van being defeated by me is true, I'm afraid, he said while helping Huan Noyet up. She felt that losing in the hands of a first-level waste weapon was very humiliating, so she didn't dare to tell you the truth. It was my master's fault that people misunderstood? John Guni asked provocatively. When Luo Vai heard that, he couldn't help but be suspicious. You're just a first-class trash, how could you? John Guni gave Huan Noyet to the old housekeeper. Although I don't care about others calling me trash, I care about my master. I don't think others will misunderstand him because of me. So I want to tell you all, I am not a waste, my master has adopted a genius. Even though she no longer had any strength left, Huan Noyet was still worried. John Guni couldn't speak. Master, you should rest a bit. What's next? He reassured Huan Noyet. The old man was also very worried about you and called softly, young lady. Zhang Guni used his most prestigious face to tell Huan Noyet, just leave it to me. He clasped his hands in front of his chest and said to Lak Fai, Holy Master, Northern Mountain Secret Realm Disciple Zhang Guni claimed to be talented and was willing to accept the experiment. Guni's behavior makes Lak Fai extremely suspicious. What? The tone of this little scoundrel is definitely not trash. Could it be that I really misunderstood Seven Sisters? Then let me test my skills once. Lak Fai gathers energy into a ball in his hand, preparing to attack. Suddenly the prince and the still autumn water appeared in front of the bliss. The holy master was late. For sisters? You are. Lak Fai is a bit annoyed because things are often interrupted. The prince gave his opinion. The holy master, just testing this kid's talent. 
why bother bothering the holy master to take action himself? It's better to let my disciple calm down and test him. Autumn water is also a realm of chi, testing each other in the same realm. Only then can you see whose talent is higher. What you say makes sense, then let your disciple come up and test him. Lakvi also closed his eyes and agreed. Thursday Twi, you go up and give instructions to your junior brother. Remember, when you take action, you must be careful. The master intended to remind his disciple and even emphasized the two words careful. Tin Thursday Twi immediately understood. The disciple understood. The master could rest assured. Looking at the quiet autumn water landing in front of Zhang Guni, the prince thought that even if you are a genius, as long as you are Huan Noyet's disciple, the man's face at this moment is as scary as hers. I will absolutely not let you survive. Huan Noyet tried her best to get up and stop her. No. No, the prince has always had no good intentions towards me. She, let her own disciple take action. I'm afraid Zhang Gu's life will die. In danger, the old butler quickly restrained you, miss, your injury. Seeing that, Lin Ha immediately smiled and reassured Huan Noyet. You don't need to worry. This Zhang Guni is very good at hiding his secrets. In my opinion, nothing will happen to him. My good junior brother, don't say my sister doesn't take care of you. Tin Thursday Tui took off her coat to reveal her body. Do you want to compete in a match? This is your choice, Tin Thursday Tui said while using one finger to stroke Zhang Guni's chin. He thought people were friendly and approachable, so he smiled happily and replied, It feels so yomo da. maybe we should just play a few tricks. Seeing the cleavage of Thursday Tui's chest through the heart shape on her shirt, Zhang Guni couldn't help but think fondly that the original Holy Land really had many beauties and they were both beautiful and friendly. If we have the opportunity, we must go out for a walk more and expand our horizons. If you say so, Thursday Tui said as she took the opportunity to take out a dart from behind. Throw it straight at Zhang Guni. How can I refuse? Looking at the dart with all the energy flying towards him, he panicked and said, Are you playing a sneak attack on me? Not good. This is the still autumn water and thunderbolt. The old butler cried out in fear. Huan Noi yet next to him also turned pale. The first move was a killer move and also playing a sneak attack, it really didn't mean it, good. No, I have to go save him. But Lin Ha calmly stopped it, sister, don't be hasty. With Zhang Guni's strength, you have more than enough strength to dodge. Just as Lin Ha said, Zhang Guni quickly moved to the side to avoid the flying dart, then pop out after two rounds. After the danger passed, he timidly asked, just exchanging tricks, but you actually want to destroy my Dantian? Even though the water is quiet, you can still shoot hearts in the blink of an eye. The sword has no eyes. If Junior Brother has chosen to compete, it is inevitable that he will be injured. He won't die, don't worry. She has some interest in her heart. She can actually avoid my thunder and lightning. This kid also has some strength. Once that's the case, then, is that so? Zhang Guni said as he slowly stood up. If Senior Sister was accidentally beaten to death by me, no one would blame me, right? The way he spoke was calm, but his face had darkened a bit. After hearing this, Thursday Tui burst out laughing and beat me to death. My good junior brother, you are acting in front of the holy master and the elders. Aren't you afraid of being laughed at by speaking so loudly? She said as she licked the dart, it looked very skillful. Whether you are laughed at or not, you will immediately know. John Guni immediately took the momentum and jumped straight towards Thursday Tui. Autumn water is not suitable. His eyes are full of murderous intent, creating darts from energy and provoking fish children. So here's the button. The move she uses is called Jio Shongtia. The darts flying towards Zhang Guni did not hit him directly but instead circled behind him. Xi Anoyet saw this and was so panicked that his eyes widened. That's not good. That's his son's secret trick to becoming famous. Little fish. Get out of the way. At that time, Lin Hao was also very worried. I had to go save Zhang Guni. She was about to rush forward, but the prince appeared in front of her. Second sister. My disciple and John Guni are exchanging moves. If you intervene, it won't be very good. Worthy of death. You were so angry that your face darkened. Immediately after that, an explosion rang out. Huan yet stammered in fear. Little, little, fish. The prince deliberately comforted him as if it were actually ironic. Seven sisters. In short, it's because your disciple wants to die. Dying a little early can still spare you the time of hard training for him. This is the truth. That's a good thing. You don't need to get hurt like that. Tin Thursday Tui thought Zhang Guni had won the trick, so he was very proud. Woda. I didn't do a good job with my master's assignment. I was so impatient just now that I didn't have time to collect my strength. I'm afraid your new disciple is dead. Suddenly Zhang Guni appeared through the smoke screen right before Thursday Tui's eyes. 
He was even in a position to prepare to punch. I will kill your head. Thursday Twi was so surprised that nothing happened to you. How, how is that possible? Nothing is impossible. Go ahead and die. While shouting at the fisherman, you punched straight into the front of Thursday Twee with great power, causing her to fly into the wall. The impact caused rocks and dirt to splash, and autumn water is like a soulless person lying paralyzed among the ruins. When the prince witnessed the scene just now, he was shocked to the point of being stunned. This, how could it be possible that the still water was defeated by this trash? Guni's performance also made Lak Vi doubt himself. This Zhang Guni's cultivation level is only at the first level of qi refining. But just now he has exerted a strength equivalent to that of Mad Wind Chi refining. Maybe I saw wrong. He is truly a genius. John Gurney stood tall like a true gentleman with a smoking hand. The old butler couldn't hide his joy. Young lady, the young master won. Xian no yet feels a bit unreal. He won because of me. However, she was still worried and thought. But because of that, he will also be implicated in that thing. John Gurney's illusion of strength and standing still to act cool made the old butler and Huan no yet feel strange. The old man said majestically, But why did the young master suddenly become motionless? Huan Noyet replied, Could it be that that attack just now was his full strength? No one knows that at this moment in his heart he is thinking, He, I want time to stop for a moment, to forever leave this handsome image of me in the hearts of the girls. It's not that different. I didn't think playing hard would be so tiring. He changed his stance, causing the old butler and Huan Noyet to breathe a sigh of relief. He moved. Luckily nothing was wrong with him. When Tin Thursday Twee sat up from the rubble, he kept coughing and coughing. She was both surprised and angry and said, You, how could you hurt me? Hearing that, he immediately walked closer to her. First, sister, don't rush to conclusions. Hurting people isn't enough. Thursday Twee exclaimed even more in surprise, What? You, you still want to kill but you can't. He said as he walked, Sister, you compare me to that kind of person? How could I do something like massacring my fellow students? John Guni. I have always been divided between my grievances and resentments. Just now you wanted to destroy my Dantian, now I will destroy your girl. At this moment, the fisherman was standing right in front of Thursday Twee. His whole body now radiated a savage, deadly murderous aura. His eyes were as red as blood. Tin Thursday Twee didn't believe Zhang Guni dared to do that. What? You want to destroy my Dantian? Dare you? I am. But he didn't even let her finish her sentence before he unleashed his move. The thunder punched Dumame. Thursday Twee's eyes opened wide, fixed on the fisherman's fist. She could only scream three times, Master Save. Immediately the prince appeared in front of Thursday Twee and shouted, Enough! The prince just waved his hand once in front of the fisherman's fist. He was immediately thrown back a great distance. Then Thursday Twee was overjoyed to be saved, and the prince also frowned and became angry on behalf of his disciple, this little beast. Thursday Twee was kind enough to point you out. Yet you dare to be heavy-handed with her? The counterattack just now also injured the fisherman. He wiped the blood from his mouth and said, It seems like your skin is getting thicker day by day, right? Yet, without changing his expression, he said that he wanted to destroy my cultivation level and instead turned to benevolently giving advice. Guni said sarcastically. He immediately turned around and said loudly as if he wanted to gossip to the Holy Master, Lord Saint, don't you care? To be honest, the disciples are very worried about the sect. If there are people like this in the sect, sooner or later the sect's reputation will be thrown to the bottom of society. After listening, Lakfi didn't know how to respond. The disparaging words from the fisherman made the prince angry, wanting to push me to the bottom of society. But sorry I came from the bottom of society. Today I will teach you on behalf of my seventh sister, she immediately said. Launched a dart to attack him. In my heart, I thought, take the opportunity that the holy master hasn't spoken yet, kill him first. Seeing the prince's actions, Huan Noyet and Lin Ha cried out in panic, Stop! Little fishermen quickly get away. The dart came very close to Zhang Guni. The system continuously displayed warnings. Dangerous. Danger. This attack has power beyond his body's endurance. He didn't know what to do. He thought in panic, Damn it, she wants to kill me directly. At this moment, the system suggests a solution. Spending ten points of potential dragon energy can avoid this move. Does the host want to use it? What he didn't expect was that potential dragon energy was used to do so. When the sharp dart was only one centimeter away from Zhang Guni, he quickly shouted, I want to use it. Immediately, his body quickly dodged to the side. The dart had the energy of a prince, so when it flew past, he created an explosion with no small destructive power behind him. The prince really didn't expect that this little beast could actually dodge my death move. 
Unfortunately, as an elder, this moment is not right to attack again. John Guni said to his son, You guys are truly a scoundrel. If you act, you want to end my life. Do you think John Guni, I don't know how to get angry? He seemed to have boiled his blood, his hands clenched fists, confidently saying, Like I said just now, I will definitely destroy the essence of still and autumn water. No one can stop fish gaming. After hearing this, the prince became even angrier and shouted, even daring to act rashly. She immediately turned out more darts to attack. However, this is also in line with your sinister intentions, little beast. I didn't expect you to take the initiative to give me another chance to attack, then go die. John Guni boldly said that the remaining potential dragon energy had been used up. He just kept running forward. Every time he dodged an attack from the shield, the system deducted his energy. The remaining energy was 128 points. The remaining energy was 99 points. Remaining energy is 66 points. Remaining energy is 38 points. Until the remaining energy was 0 points, John Guni's eyes seemed to emit lightning. He passed by the lady, but she could only stand still and cry out, What? Nguni kept her intention. I said, I must destroy the Dan dying of Tin Thursday Twee. No one can stop me. John Guni muster all his energy into this decisive punch. The prince quickly turned around and raised his hand to stop. John Guni, you dare. Thursday Twee was also scared and tried to run away. Bold me. Combined with the shout, John Guni's thunderous punch fell straight into Thursday Twee's back, causing her to vomit blood and lose her irises. At the same time, Thursday Twee also flew for free for meters accompanied by a second explosion. Looking at the still autumn water soul leaving his body, he exclaimed, Wow, so comfortable. In his mind he couldn't help but praise, this hidden dragon's physique is so unpredictable, even the moves of an expert level like an elder are still there. Can easily dodge, it's really domineering. The prince suddenly appeared behind him with an eight-form attack in his hand, John Guni who dared to massacre his fellow disciples right in front of me. The system also displays a red notice, Danger warning, danger warning. This attack has power far beyond the body's tolerance limit. He also widened his eyes, realizing that everything was not over yet. I thought the prince wanted to avenge his disciple, but in reality it was just an excuse. She was extremely cruel. John Guni was able to dodge my attack. We absolutely cannot let him continue. Living. Otherwise, he will definitely become my biggest obstacle. John Guni was so scared that his hair fell out. He could only bite his shirt and think, damn. I forgot about this old woman. I have now used up all my potential dragon energy. This trip is a shame. The fisherman cried out in pain. I'm still young. I want to go out. Lin Ha saw this and was about to rush out to save him. He quickly shouted. My lord, stop quickly. But Xian Yu stopped him. Don't go. He won't die. Lin Ha asked confusedly. So he won't die. The prince has used his killer move. Because he has proven his own strength. Xian Noyet replied. Someone will come to save him. Just as Hua Noyet said, Lak Fai has appeared between Zhang Guni and his son. Lak Fai gave a powerful look and said stop here. A golden shield was created to block the prince's attack. The prince's high heels landed on the ground. She couldn't help but regret that the holy master still took action. The scene just now made the fisherman unable to help but be surprised. The holy master saved me? Luo Vai suddenly made a decree and said, transmitting the holy master's order. Fang Zhang Guni became a senior brother's disciple enjoyed the treatment of second-level disciples, and was qualified to enter the secret realm of Dung Veem. From today onwards, restore the medicine supply for Xian Yu. Hearing that, everyone present was surprised and said, What? The prince felt extremely dissatisfied and shouted, The holy master, Zhang Guni, he massacred his fellow disciples. Not only did he not punish him, but Lak Vai, who was transmitting the city, pointed at Zhang Guni's hand, then turned to say to the prince, Old man. Do you think I don't know your thoughts? His wandering eyes seemed to have such authority that it was deadly. Because when the prince meets that look, he must be timid and afraid and stammer. I. After that, Lak Fai immediately soared into the sky to return. Before leaving, he did not forget to remind and follow the orders of the Holy Master. Holding the quiet autumn water in her heart, the prince's whole body radiated murderous aura. She thought angrily, how angry that Zhang Guni could have survived today. But I'll give you a few more days to live, just wait for me. After that, the fourth elder's son immediately carried his disciples back to the secret realm, leaving Zhang Guni to speculate. Why did the fourth elder's face look so bad? Could it be that being beaten by the holy master made him bitter? He opened the holy book and read it. First level disciple, senior brother? Enjoy the treatment of second order disciples? This is all a mess, is Bo Lao Tang, still the first step. 
Lin Ha saw this and went to explain, Little fish, don't you understand? The first level disciples were just the disciples who had just entered the sect not long ago, while the second level disciples were the disciples of the Holy Domain School. All of them had already broken through their qi refinement period, starting to build their foundations. Lian Ha patted Ngu Ni's shoulder and happily continued, Every month second level disciples receive bamboo pills, cultivation resources are several times higher than first level disciples, you are in the refining stage but can enjoy the resources. The origin of a second order disciple is to receive a great advantage, congratulations to you, kid. If the second level disciples are treated so highly, then how high will the third level disciples be? If you risk, you eat a lot. If you don't risk, you eat a little. And those who don't work but want to eat, just eat. I have to become a third order disciple. Zhang Guni shouted excitedly. Do you still want to be a third order disciple? Seventh elder Huan Noyet suddenly asked. Master? Zhang Guni exclaimed. He replied confidently. That's right. My disciple must definitely become a third disciple. Because I want to make my master more glorious. He he. The master doesn't praise the disciple. After all. This. This is the duty of a disciple. He suddenly became confused when he saw Elder Hua Noyet's cold face. Master, what is this expression of yours? The disciple was a bit scared. Do not become a third order disciple. After saying that, Xian Yu kicked Zhang Guni in a dangerous place. His potential dragon energy increased by 10 points. While scolding him, Elder Hua Noyet kicked. Do you know that the third level disciples all have hidden dragon energy plus 10? I just asked you to go. Why didn't you go? Why do one or two have to show their own strength? She immediately struck the final blow, and the potential dragon's energy was added by ten points. The old butler sighed softly, Sigh, young master, you don't know. The young lady accepted disciples all because she died as a third-order disciple. Meanwhile, John Gundy knelt on the ground, covering his face. Moaning my face, he immediately turned around, picked up Juan Noyet's shoe, and politely said to his master, He had just been injured. Vigorously exercising his body would not be good. Don't torture me anymore. His face was filled with tears. The scene suddenly became extremely sweet. Master, your crystal child. Elder Hua Noyet clicked his tongue and replied I. She thought to herself sigh. I have no reason to be angry with him. He clearly started because of me. Oh, looks like I came at the wrong time. Suddenly two figures suddenly appeared from behind. Elder Hua Noyet turned around in surprise. That was the sixth elder Chu A and his disciple Lin Tuong's secret realm. Mu Tran Kuang, Chua contemptuously asked Seven's sister if this was venting his anger on the disciple. Sixth Elder. Why did she come here? The old butler and the elder Lin Ha thought to themselves in panic. Another beauty arrives. Zhang Guni stared wide-eyed at the round and white pair of speakers that were showing through the Asia's revealing dress. He exclaimed that this pristine holy land is truly a paradise on earth. Chua, Elder Huan Noye looked at her with murderous eyes. Elder Chua smirked and asked my good sister why are you becoming more and more impolite? Seeing me, six sisters didn't even call me. So what? Could it be that because she was forbidden to use medicine by the holy master and was in a bad mood, she gave a sinister smile? You came here to laugh at me, Elder Hua Noyet asked with a snorted voice. I don't dare to laugh at my sister, Elder Chua said as he approached. In the end, every time seven sister falls into a desperate situation, she can turn the situation around. I came this time out of curiosity. I don't know if Seven Sister can turn around at this time. She released an extremely strong murderous aura that made Hua Noyet feel so small in front of this person. John Guni smiled boredly. He he, another person came to make trouble. Is my master's fate that bad? Faced with Elder Zhou Ye's domineering aura, Elder Hua Noyet snorted and replied, Whether I can turn around or not has nothing to do with you. You don't need to worry. Looking at my sister, how can I not be worried? Suddenly, Elder Chua knelt down on one knee and gently said that I am the person who knows best about your current situation. If I don't take medicine for three days, I'm afraid you will die and have no place to bury you. Six sisters are heartbroken for you. Looking at the scene that had just happened before his eyes, Zhang Guni happily thought oh? Doesn't this sixth elder know that there was a holy master's order just now? I suddenly thought of a bold idea. Huan Noyet was annoyed and pushed Chua's hand away, let go. Chua smiled fakely, no need to joke. Chua, to tell you the truth, I was. Elder Noyet was seriously talking to Elder Chua when Zhang Guni suddenly ran to interrupt, slow down. He immediately jumped in front of Elder Hua Noyet. He excitedly said loudly, Master, your injury is not good, you need to say less, let me help you entertain Sixth Elder. Zhang Guni meets Elder Luke. What does this kid want to do? 
Huan Noye thought to himself, feeling like something was wrong. Elder Chua looked at him and said in a disdainful tone that you are the trash disciple that Huan Noye just collected? I'll be free to entertain you. I'll let you think about it slowly. When your master dies three days later, who will come to protect your little gills? If the sixth elder thought that I was my teacher, he would surely die. So will you bet me an essay? John Guni replied confidently. Bet? Elder Chua's eyes widened in surprise. John Guni immediately explained the betting conditions. I bet the holy master will immediately restore my master's right to use medicine, and at the same time promote me to the first level of a senior disciple, enjoying the second level of discipleship. Treatment. He eloquently asked the elder's opinion. How? Elder Juan Noyet was surprised and thought to himself, it turns out John Guni wanted to attack this. This little fisherman, he really is a smart little devil. Elder Lin Ha silently praised. Elder Chua burst out laughing, ha ha, you little trash is a bit interesting. Not only do you have the delusion of wanting the holy master to restore your master's right to use medicine, but you also want to be a first level senior disciple. Elder Chua gently raised John Guni's chin, you are so innocent and a bit adorable. He he. Being a human without dreams, what's the difference between being a fish and a fish? He smiled softly. I wonder if you dare to bet with me this game or not. John Guni clasped Chue's hand tightly and asked seriously. Standing from afar observing, Mok Tran Kuang hissed angrily, This bastard actually dared to touch my master. He tried to pull out the sword at his waist. Elder Zhou is also not suitable. She presses her big breasts close to John Guni's body. Her face is extremely sexy, she says okay, let's bet. I listen to you, Chua whispered close to your face. John Guni slightly wavered, this woman. Not simple. My artillery wants to fire. Extremely obscene thoughts immediately appeared in his mind. John Guni immediately retreated away, wiped some of the blood from his nose, coughed, if I win, you must swear to heaven to help me do something. Chua smiled mischievously, she had just been unable to bear it. It seemed like she was still a baby bird. If I lose, I will give this secret mountain to you, he said eloquently. Elder Chua was startled. This kid still dares to bet on the secret of Uncle Mountain? Could it be that he really grasped something? She then softly asked again, Little cutie, this secret mountain belongs to Huan Noyet. You are just a small disciple. How can you be the master? John Guni turned to Elder Huan Noyet, shouted loudly and asked the master, Do I use the mysterious mountain to bet? Eat more if you dose. Eat less if you don't dose. He winked and reported, You understand what I mean, right, master? Huan Noyet was bored and wondered if you could calm down your expression a bit. Thinking for a while, she breathed a sigh of relief. I can bet on the northern mountain secret realm for you. But if you lose your bet, I will skin you. Huan Noyet said in a threatening voice. John Guni immediately leaned close to her ear and whispered to reassure her. Master doesn't know if we will win the bet. Peeling skin is too cruel. Huh? Huan Noyet's face frowned showing disbelief. Even though the master has turned into a lowly, anger is still a bit scary. He thought tremblingly. Elder Juan Noyet secretly thought, this prince is only jealous of me, but this lady has killed me five times, seven times. If Nguni wants to fight her, then I will happily comply. Give her some lessons. Elder Chua smiled evilly and thought, looking at Juan Noyet's face, maybe she wasn't sure. If so then, okay, I accept this bet. She immediately agreed. I swear to God, if I lose, I agree to do something for the little fisherman. John Guni also raised his hand and swore, If I lose, I will give this secret scene to Elder Chua. Chua faintly said, I swear to heaven, tell me, when will the holy master restore Huan Noyet's right to use medicine? When will he promote you to a first-level senior disciple? John Guni smirked, Ha ha, of course. Right now. He immediately took out the holy scroll and boldly showed off the holy master's orders here. Full HD Plus products are not covered. If they are fake we will pay you ten times more. What? The elder Chua exclaimed in panic. This? How is that possible? She immediately snatched the holy scroll from Zhang Guni's hand. As he read the book, he trembled and asked, Do you really have a holy master's order? Ha ha, remember, you have to do something for me. Zhang Guni admiringly reminded. So you already had the holy master's order and deliberately tricked me into betting with you. Elder Chua shouted angrily, you bastard. John Guni immediately acted innocently, and replied that you can't blame me for this. Who said your mind is in the clouds? My master dares to bet on the secret place of Bak Sun, then he is sure to win you. Chua was so angry that he couldn't speak. Master is limp. Muk Tran Kuang stepped forward, his voice soft and reassuring. He gently squeezed Elder Zhou Ye's shoulder, whispering in a low voice, This John Guni has a slippery tongue. 
Perhaps he has used some trick to deceive the holy master. As long as I take action to abolish it, everything will happen. It will get better. Chu exhaled. Well, fortunately Kuang Ni was here. Otherwise the monk would have been angry to death. Zhang Guni raised his eyebrows in question. Hey, what are you whispering about? Could it be that you're thinking about how to break the deal? Ha ha, junior brother, since you've heard it, then I won't hide it anymore. Click. He suddenly pulled out the precious sword. Muk Tran Kuang. I am the strongest first level disciple. Very suspicious I wonder if you have the qualifications to become a senior brother or not. So, I have to test my junior brother's abilities on behalf of all the other first level disciples. Without letting him finish his sentence, Zhang Guni immediately rushed forward and threw a punch right in the middle of Muk Tran Kuang's face. He only had time to scream. Wow. Peak Chi refining solo peak Chi refining crazy peak. Zhang Guni attacked without mercy, sending Muk Tran Kuang flying far away. He rolled in pain a few times on the ground before stopping. What? Elder Zhou was extremely frightened, as if he could not believe his eyes. After Kuang Ni double cultivated with me, his strength increased dramatically, half a step into the bamboo foundation stage. His strength is definitely unrivaled in the refining phase. How could he be trashed by a guy? In this rumor defeated, few, John Guni scowled and said, Didn't you see that the Holy Master's order made me the senior brother of the first level disciples? You keep calling me junior, 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 junior brother forever. Sigh, young people these days really don't know how to be polite. Cough, cough. Cough, cough. Muk Tran Kuang coughed out mouthfuls of blood. He stood up, hissing indignantly. How is that possible? You, you can actually use one punch to seriously injure me? No, no, no. You're wrong. John Guni calmly walked closer. I can actually use one punch to kill you. He stood in front of Muk Tran Kuang radiating a strong domineering spirit. What? Mu Tran Kuang glared and screamed. John Guni immediately said softly, But senior brother like me, how could we treat junior brother so cruelly? This time I only warn you, let you know the consequences, but if there is a next time, enough. Elder Chua suddenly interrupted him. Her body was burning with anger. My disciple does not need your teachings. Kuang Ni, let's go. Chua immediately ran to help Tran Kuang. This time it was because I saw wrongly. She thought angrily to herself. She didn't expect that her new apprentice, Promise Noyet, was actually not trash. As soon as Chua took a step to leave, John Guni suddenly called her back. Going somewhere? Our story isn't over yet, right? She looked back, snorted and said Tran Kuang has been injured by you. What else do you want? Hearing these words from the sixth elder, it's as if I'm threatening you. John Guni smiled and said I just wanted to remind Elder Luke that we had a bet you lost. Now you have to help me do something. John Guni. I advise you to forget this bet. You can't bear the consequences. Chua shouted a warning, her murderous aura making her hair fly up and down. John Guni replied contemptuously, I have to admit that everything was started by me, but you swore to heaven, if you dare to break that vow, I'm afraid it will be very difficult for you to hold your head high in the future. Head, you just brought it on yourself. You. Chua's eyes widened but she couldn't reply. She thought, once I violate my oath to heaven, I will definitely be caught in the backlash of heaven and lose more than I gain. Looks like this time. I can only go down one step. She angrily gritted her teeth. Chua turned around, annoyed and asked what do you want me to do? I suggest you don't want the lion to open its mouth. I just want you. I want you to kneel down right now and apologize to my master. John Guni pointed eloquently at the ground. His words were like lightning hitting the sixth elder's ears. What did she scream in surprise? Neil, Neil? Elder Hua Noyet was worried and quickly intervened. John Guni, I don't need that. Although Chue is not a good person, after all, he is an elder, the cultivation resources are still there, you must for himself to gain a great benefit. John Guni's intention remained unchanged, he calmly told his master, as for me, my master doesn't have to suffer hardship, which is the biggest benefit. As he spoke, he smiled brightly. What? Before his disciples' words, Elder Juan Noyet was extremely surprised. He, he wanted to help me calm down. So he gave up the desire that everyone was always looking for. She exclaimed emotionally, John Guni, you. John Guni said excitedly, Master, please prepare yourself mentally to hear her apologize. People in our sect were happy when they saw their master being punished. When people encounter misfortune, they immediately laugh. Just teach certain people and they will not dare to laugh anymore. His words were like a knife stuck in my heart, tickling two people extremely. The old butler used a handkerchief to wipe away his tears, tearfully saying hoo-hoo, happy, really too happy, 
Ever since the young lady was injured, this mysterious mountain uncle has been looked down upon by many people, bullied by people. Not a few. Ha <laughs> ha. Today you finally showed a little bit of your temper. The second elder Lin Han nodded in agreement. That's right. It seems like there must be a man in the family to avoid being bullied by outsiders. The second lady is right. There must be a man in the house. Pause for about two seconds. The old butler suddenly stopped, panicking and calling out to the second lady, You, your words are so nervous. I'm also a man. Lin Ha coldly asked, Is this old man considered a man? The old butler angrily explained that even though this old man was a bit older. But I'm still young. Every day I raise the flag. You look down on me too much. Lin Ha covered her mouth and whispered, Being so old makes me a little disgusted. On the other side, Elder Zhou was speaking loudly to Zhang Gani, Zhang Gani, as the saying goes, You have to stay a while, we will meet again someday. I advise you to change your request a bit, if no. I don't pay any attention to a word of yours, sorry, I was calculating your date, not that I didn't plan to see you again someday, so there's no need to leave you a path. Right now I just want to ask you one question. Zhang Guni pointed his finger straight at Chua, boldly saying that you are planning to give up the deal, or still refuse to kneel? Elder Zhou angrily shouted, don't be too harsh. As soon as she finished speaking, a warning bolt of lightning suddenly fell from the sky. Zhang Guni glared provocatively, wanting to make a move? Just try it and see if you act quickly, or if Heaven's Way reacts quickly. Looking at the oath still engraved on his head, Elder Chua frowned and calculated, no way. Once I fall into the heavenly backlash, senior brother's plans will be ruined. She cursed angrily. Zhang Guni, everything you did to me today, I will remember carefully. The day we take revenge will come soon. Thinking about it, Chua knelt on the ground with both knees. She curled her butt and bowed her head to the ground, speaking in a low voice. I was wrong today. I bowed my head and apologized to you. After the apology, the oath to heaven above the head of Asia immediately disappeared. Immediately. Chue and Muk Tran Kuang immediately rushed into the sky. Let's go. John Guni looked at their silhouettes, smacked his lips and commented, While look at Elder Luke's kneeling position. Elder Luke is absolutely very good at kneeling. Morning vitamins. Hayes, Elder Huan Noyet sighed softly. John Guni, you have completely offended Zhou Asia. John Guni replied without fear. What is there to fear if you offend them? The Holy Master has resumed using the Master's medicinal power. When the Master gets better, no matter how he deals with the four elders, the six elders together may not be able to defeat the master. Huan Noyet suddenly said in a low voice, If I can restore my strength, dealing with them will naturally be easy. But, John Guni immediately smiled reassuringly, Master can rest assured, although Master has now returned to lowly state, I just need to draw spiritual energy into your body to make you grow bigger, isn't that enough? Elder Huan Noyet was so embarrassed that he was shaking, what did he pour in and then disappear? What nonsense are you talking about? What I mean is, I want to help Master change from lowly to BB. He immediately explained. Elder Juan Noyet blushed and turned away, awkwardly changing the subject. T change it to another day. Don't tell me. If you reveal your true strength in front of the Holy Master, there are some things I need to do. Tell you clearly. What's going on? John Guni scratched his head wonderingly. Elder Juan Noyet said in a low voice. In fact, the Holy Master did not stop at nothing to force me to accept disciples, because we found a secret place in the center of the Holy Domain battlefield, like a space-time passageway great formation can cross boundaries. But that secret realm can only be entered by those with a base level of cultivation, and in the entire primordial Holy Land, only I understand formations, so the Holy Land always hopes for me to cultivate disciples. Plot to control that secret scene. John Guni exclaimed with bright eyes, isn't this a good thing? Master, why don't you want to do it? If we can control the space-time passage, wouldn't it be like Doriman's magical door to go wherever we want? He immediately drew a vision that could only be seen in dreams. If I could teleport back to Earth through the space-time channel, with my potential dragon physique, wouldn't I be the strongest person on Earth? In my imagination, John Guni is a handsome man with a smile, surrounded by girls and fans lifting him up to cloud nine. That's Ngavilla Fan Mu, right? Ah, uh, Mr. Ngavilla, please send me 400 bulbs. Big guy. Mr. Fisher, please give me your autograph. Do you have five reasons to abandon your child? Fairy. Gaming cannot be stopped. At that time, I will only crow a few times and I will be invincible in the world. Elder Juan Noyet spoke up to interrupt his thoughts. It's not that simple. Before you, 
I accepted a total of 37 disciples, each of whom was a peerless genius. As a result, they all perished inside that mysterious realm. Hearing this, Zhang Guni's face darkened, his heart trembled slightly. What? All all died, because I don't want to see other people die miserably anymore. So, this time because I have to deal with the Holy Master's order, I intentionally accept you because you are a waste in the eyes of others. Unexpectedly, the result is, you are actually a genius. Could it be that, while speaking, her voice suddenly choked, tears rolled down her cheeks, she said with tears in her eyes, was this God's will. It's so sad, John Guni gently swallowed the saliva in her dry throat. No wonder when I revealed my true strength. My master then attacked me. It turns out she didn't want me to die miserably. Haiza, this time it's a big deal. He gloomily thought to himself, what should we do now? I've just developed feelings for my master and want to spend many days together. But I can't let it end so quickly. John Guni was about to leave his soul. The second elder Lin Ha suddenly called out to seven sisters. The boat had been built. If the little fisher's strength had been discovered by the holy master, entering the holy domain battlefield was inevitable. No, she put her hand on Zhang Guni's shoulder to encourage Zhang Guni. We just need to increase the little fisher's strength, then we can avoid tragedy from happening again. As if finding a ray of hope, Zhang Guni's bright eyes shouted, Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to make mistakes. I want to improve my strength. Second master uncle, quickly take me to the alchemy room. I treat you like a saint. Oh. I treat your medicinal pills like death. He forcefully pushed Elder Lin Ha away. She confusedly said wait, I haven't. Yet, second master uncle, what time is it now? Let's go quickly. Elder Lin Ha smiled and praised. I have to say, little fish you are really sharp-eyed. The entire sect is the only one who can see the alchemy talent. Speaking of medicine refiners, the first time I saw second master uncle's eyes, I knew that second master uncle's medicinal pills were so delicious. They hurriedly pulled each other away. Juan Noyet and the old butler stood watching with extremely affectionate eyes. The old butler turned to ask, Miss, let me see if you can successfully control the passage? In the past two days, he has created many miracles, and perhaps he can continue the miracle to the end. Hayes, elder Juan Noyet sighed softly. I didn't expect him to succeed or not. I just hope he can survive. As she walked, she spoke softly. In the secret realm of the spirit, on the sixth elder's bed, a dull moan rang out continuously. Chu Ei and Muk Tran Kuang are both naked, both wrapped tightly around each other. Two people are cultivating together, close to each other's mouths to transmit spiritual energy. A moment later, the ball of energy between the two people's mouths gradually dissipated. Phew, Muk Tran Kuang immediately laid down, breathed a sigh of relief. Chua kindly asked Kuang Ni, How are you? Do you feel better? Thank you, Master. My disciples' injuries have completely healed. He replied gently. Chua immediately snuggled into Muk Tran Kuang's arms. Pettingly said Kuang Ni, Your body is injured. Master is in pain in the heart. Good or bad, Master will have a hard time going back at night later. He immediately coaxed, Sorry, I made my Master waste his time. Master, let me change your clothes. Having said that, Muk Tran Kuang lifted Chu A's high heel shoe. Master, next I have to practice more with you. Sooner or later I will defeat that guy Zhang Gini. Chua replied softly, Recently the two of us have been practicing together. It's really good for you. Increased power is a bit limited. I went out of the sect to find a superior to help you increase your strength. Lo Din, Muk Tran Kuang's eyes widened in surprise. Who is? No need to rush. Wait until I bring her back, you will know. Chua immediately smiled mysteriously. I believe you will like it very much. After saying that, she immediately flew away. Mu Tran Kuang stood watching, muttering softly, Master, thank you very much. But the lotus I want the most is not anyone else, but you. He licked his lips, silently contemplating a sinister plan. Sooner or later, one day, I will eat you clean. In the secret realm of revenge, little fisherman, come here quickly. I can't wait any longer to feed my little treasure. Elder Lin Ha called excitedly. Zhang Guni thought to himself, how is it that second master uncle is still at a higher level than me? Looking at the uncountable cabinets and jars of medicinal herbs displayed in the spacious room, he shouted loudly in surprise. So many medicinal pills. Elder Lin Ha proudly introduced that these medicinal pills were several hundred years old, but unfortunately no one wanted to take them. Mostly no one dares to take it. Zhang Guni ran in with bright eyes. Thank you second master. I will not be polite. That's so great. He looked back and forth, rummaging through the medicine cabinets, excitedly exclaiming that these medicine pills were not bad. Just looking at them, he knew they were delicious. 
All of these are definitely great supplements. Looking at John Nguyen's look of joy like a child being given a new toy, Elder Lin Ha burst into tears and exclaimed with emotion, After so many years, people in the sect still avoid my medicine. Time, it's still the first time I see someone praising my medicinal pills like that. She gently used her hand to wipe away the tears. Lin Ha smiled and turned on her heel to leave. Her appearance had now become extremely confident. It looked like the little fisherman could eat. I'm afraid this medicinal pill is not enough to satisfy his hunger. I have to just go practice more. Oh ha ha it's all mine. John Guni still kept jumping up and down with joy. John Guni entered a state of stomach king. He poured two bottles of medicinal pills into his mouth at once. Ah ha ha. So happy. Sometimes he switches to elegant food and herbal medicine. Sometimes I pretend to be a food seller and bake medicinal herbs to enjoy. Only children are picky eaters. It all belongs to me. The announcement suddenly sounded. The host had encountered a super waste pill, using it at once to gain 1,000 points of potential dragon energy. Well, well, well. Smudgy. John Nguyen still keeps eating and drinking. Wow, ha ha. Surprisingly, using one gives me so much energy. He laughed happily. 100 points can make me avoid the attack of an expert level like an elder. If I consume a thousand energy points, what kind of attack can it get? Ding! Congratulations to the host for achieving 1,000 potential dragon energy points for the first time, unlocking a new skill, reproduction. The host can consume potential dragon energy to recreate anything the host wants. Hmm? Suddenly unlocked skills? John Guni pondered. Could he restore anything he wanted? Real or fake? Hmm, maybe we should try it once. He took out a medicinal pill and immediately ordered this medicinal pill to be restored for me. The pill in his palm suddenly changed. In the blink of an eye, a new medicinal pill formed right next to the previous one. But it was really successful. John Guni exclaimed in surprise. But this is too precious. The notification sounded again. The host had consumed 99 energy points and successfully recreated a trash pill. He regretfully hissed that he only recreated one medicinal pill and made me consume 99 points of potential dragon energy. Wait. John Guni suddenly had some perverted thoughts in his mind. If I imitate one more master, wouldn't I be able to enjoy worldly pleasures? Wouldn't it consume hundreds of thousands of potential dragon energy? How long do we have to save up? He thought painfully. John Guni quickly regained his composure, his heart filled with determination and shouted loudly. However, the dream still has to be there. What if it comes true? First of all today, I have to eat all of these pills, and I have to work hard for the dream of having a lowly and a BB to hug. Then only heard a loud shout full of determination, go ahead. While practicing opening the room, the second elder Lin Ha suddenly shouted in disappointment. Looking at the blackened medicinal pills and the smoke rising, she sadly thought that it still wouldn't work. Maybe, having lost my spiritual fire destiny, am I no longer suitable for alchemy? Huh, I don't believe it. Continue practicing. Lin Ha threw away the broken pills, his voice full of confidence. The little fisherman really liked the pills I refined. If he could refine a good medicinal pill, it would definitely be even better for him. Suddenly her disciple, Kai Van, rushed in to announce, Master, the fourth elder arrives. What did she come for? Elder Lin Ha cautiously asked again. She said, Take back the sex stand cauldron. Kai Van's words were like a bolt of lightning hitting her ears. She cried out in surprise, What? She, what does she want to revoke her based on? Ha ha, based on what? From the entrance, a sinister laugh suddenly sounded. The old man's son didn't know how long he had been standing there. She disdainfully said that of course the holy master gave me the right to take back the Dan call. Elder Lin Ha angrily shouted at the prince. I clearly saw that you were a bit tired at the seventh elder's place, so you deliberately came to me to retaliate. Ha ha, what if I come for revenge? Having said that, the elder prince entered the room. She sat down on the chair with her big, round butt wanting to blame. I can only blame you for being on Xian Noyet's side. Elder Lin Ha angrily explained that your Hua Noyet sacrificed a lot for the sect, now facing injustice. Not only do you not help, but on the contrary, you also want to throw stones into the well. The elder replied in a low voice, it was all because she sowed the wind and reaped the storm, who told her to seduce senior brother before? It's obvious that senior brother likes me. If it weren't for Xian Noyet, senior brother would definitely choose me. Lin Ha scolded angrily, go and fulfill your big dreams of spring and autumn. Looking at you now, senior brother will blindly choose you. The face is aging. Breasts need weight loss. Belly bulges. The prince calmly sat up and replied, 
You can't even imagine what happened between me and senior brother. Okay, I'm not here to talk nonsense with you. Obediently hand over the damn top here. She raised her voice to command. Lin Ha without any hesitation replied that the Dan Din was given to me by the Holy Master. You have no right to take it back. Who says we don't have rights? Having said that, the prince suddenly took out a holy edict. The Holy Master had an order. The secret realm master Deng Yan Grass Kai, the elder in the management area, requested to take the pill cauldron and look for a disciple of the alchemist master. Sect level to refine spirit essence pills. Lian Ha paused, awkwardly saying I am an alchemist. I can refine the spirit yuan pill. No need for her to go find another alchemist. The prince covered his mouth and burst out laughing. Ha ha. Second senior sister, stop lying to yourself. After that incident, you have forever lost your alchemy ability. The reason why the holy master agreed to lend you the Dan cauldron to use is because he doesn't want your self-esteem to be hit. The words she said became more and more malicious. Do you think you are still the alchemy master shouting at the battlefield of the holy domain? The tough look on Elder Lin Ha's face had completely disappeared. She was trembling and speechless. I can still make pills. The prince still couldn't help but look disdainful. She continued to insult. It's true that you can still practice. But the pills you practice are all waste, except reality. Open your eyes and look. Besides your trash disciple Kai Van, who else can help you refine pills? Suddenly Zhang Guni quickly ran in, calling out to his second uncle. Seeing him, the prince suddenly stopped. Zhang Guni? Why is he here? Zhang Guni paid no attention to her and immediately rushed forward to hug Elder Lin Hao's leg, begging second master uncle. Suddenly your medicine pill disappeared in my stomach. Can you help me practice more? The prince couldn't believe his ears. What were he thinking? John Guni actually asked Lin Ha to refine pills? Lin Ha excitedly asked Little Fisherman, You, you still want to eat my medicine? John Guni smiled and flattered, Of course. The second master's uncle refined the exquisite and wonderful medicinal pills that were so cunning that they took over heaven's merits and made me lose my soul right from the first pill. I wonder if second master uncle can practice some more for me. I'm still quite hungry. Looking at his disciple's bright smile, Lin Ha tearfully replied, Yes, of course. As long as you want to eat, my uncle will definitely fill you up. The prince suddenly shouted, Don't you dare act in front of me. Only then did Zhang Guni suddenly realize, huh? Of course there are others. So it's you, the elder's son. He panicked, activated his defense. What are you doing here? Is it because I hurt your disciple last time, so I came here to take revenge on me? The prince replied softly, Humph, as an elder, how could I do things like revenge? I came today to take revenge on Lin Ha. Ah, uh, no. I came today to obey the holy master's order, to take back the pill cauldron of the second master uncle. You, she secretly thought about it. But she didn't expect this brat. This is also here. If you want to take revenge on him, you will have a chance in the future. Today, take revenge on the whole galaxy first. John Guni exclaimed in surprise he wanted to take the alchemy furnace away. Lin Ha said sadly, Little fish, sorry maybe. I can't refine pills for you anymore. So is it true? John Guni shouted angrily. He turned to ask the elder son, Why do you want to take away the second master's damn call? It's clear that second martial uncle is the most outstanding alchemist in the sect, and her medicinal pills are also very good. John Guni, how long do you want to act? The prince said contemptuously. I see you're used to eating shit. Everyone in the entire primordial holy land knew that she was useless, and the medicinal pills she refined were all useless pills. Only a sick ghost would lie to herself and praise her medicinal pills as delicious. She continued to make threats. What? John Guni exclaimed in panic. It was inevitable that the medicinal pills prepared by Second Master Uncle, they didn't dare to eat them. No wonder Second Master Uncle was happy after hearing me say that he liked her medicinal pills. It turned out that second master uncle was happy after hearing me say that he liked her medicinal pills. I can't re-refining a qualified medicinal pill. Elder Lin Ha was so angry that she was shaking but couldn't refute at all. She quietly muttered no. I can still refine pills. W just give me more time. I can definitely. Kai Van Lo calming down to reassure her, master. John Guni looked back at the two of them. He secretly thought that the second master Fook liked alchemy so much. The sky was so high that he took away what she liked, not only took it away, but also wanted to send her away. Some trash came and stabbed her wound. The gentleman then took on a sympathetic tone. I said, second sister, it's not that the sect doesn't give you more time, it's just that after giving you more than a hundred years of time, 
you still can't practice it. You should understand for yourself, accept reality, you are already unable to refine medicinal pills, you should give the altar to someone more qualified to use it. Wait, John Guni suddenly spoke up and interrupted. Who said that second master uncle didn't have a way to refine the medicine again? The prince raised his eyebrows and asked that everyone in this primordial holy land knows it. Do you still need others to say it, star? Do you dare to bet with me? John Guni asked in a deep voice. The prince was extremely wondering, what are you betting on? If my second master uncle can refine medicinal pills, you must agree to do something for me. If second master uncle cannot refine the medicinal pill, not only will I hand over the pill cauldron to you, I will also kneel down and apologize to you on behalf of my master and second master uncle. Even though the conditions of this bet were extremely difficult, John Guni still seemed extremely confident. Hearing that, the prince immediately laughed and scorned him. A disciple as small as a person knelt down and apologized, am I still strange? If it's your master, you can kneel down. Want me to kneel? Elder Juan Noyet's voice suddenly spoke, causing everyone present in the room to be startled. She appeared with the old butler. Her voice firmly said yes, I also want to participate in this bet. Elder Lin Ha and Zhang Guni immediately ran out excitedly to welcome Elder Shui Noyet, seventh sister. When did you get here? Master. Second sister, I came here to see who is causing trouble here. She replied. The elder son was stunned for a moment. Why did Hua Noyet come here? Zhang Guni leaned close to Hua Noyet's ear and whispered, Master, you trust me so much, aren't you afraid that I will lose? If you dare to lose, Zhang Guni, I will skin you. Hua Yu replied coldly, Ha ha, master, are you still afraid of seeing my prestige like this? Don't worry, your knees are so white. I won't let your knees get dirty from kneeling on someone else. If your knee is injured, it is only my doing. John Guni affirmed firmly, his face full of confidence. Hua Noi yet breathed a sigh of relief. Okay, stop talking nonsense. Hurry up and bet. Seven sisters, little fishermen, there's no need to bet. Lin Ha worriedly said the prince is right. I really can't make pills. John Guni immediately grabbed her shoulder and said eloquently, Second master, I trust you. People must also believe that they are the biggest, well, the best. Trust me, I have my own solution. This little fisherman, okay. Lin Ha gently accepted, but in her heart she still had some doubts. Huan Noya looked at him and smiled slightly. Although John Guni always talked a lot, he was never unsure of the situation. This time, he just wanted to be tricked by Little Fisher. Zhang Guni ran to the prince's side and pressed the button. I immediately said to the elder son, It's your turn. Dare you bet or not? The prince raised his eyebrows and exclaimed, Ah, I didn't expect your disciple to want to kneel to me like that. If that's the case, if you sincerely wish for it, how can I refuse? I bet. Although I don't know where you get your confidence from, everyone knows that Lin Ha can't refine pills. No matter what happens, I'll definitely win the game. She said confidently, This elder son is really confident, so will you quickly swear to heaven? John Guni immediately proposed conditions. Hearing that, the prince shouted loudly, Humph, I am the fourth elder, are you still afraid that I will not be able to play dirty? John Guni leisurely replied that he would denounce you. I was afraid that you would play dirty. How? Don't you dare swear to heaven? I know you don't dare to swear. Because I knew long ago, the noble fourth elder turned out to be as small-minded as a mouse. He was afraid of losing. He was carried away by John Guni's provocation. The prince angrily said who did you say was afraid of losing? I swear I'll show you. My son I swear to heaven, if I lose, I will promise John Guni one condition. If I violate this oath, I will be punished by heaven. The oath was made, and a golden swear word appeared above her head. John Guni nodded and praised, Wow, the fourth elder is indeed wise. As soon as I saw your appearance, I saw a big heart great intelligence, big breasts, and compassion. Stop talking nonsense, let's get started. The prince gave an extremely sinister smile. I really want to see how the most trash alchemist in the primitive holy land will refine alchemy. John Guni immediately calmed down, Kuku a fourth elder, don't rush. Elder Lin Ha rarely opens an alchemy kiln. I think I should invite a few disciples to observe and let them learn some of their skills. Alchemy, invite disciples to observe? Okay, the prince happily agreed. If you want to be humiliated in front of everyone, how can I refuse? Go and call everyone. What? Little fisherman. Lin Ha was so worried. Huan Noi yet immediately stepped forward to reassure her. Second sister, no need to worry. Little fisherman will definitely have a solution. 
Have you forgotten how old Luke was led into the lake by John Guinea? Lin Han nodded confusedly, um, um. I followed the little fisherman's arrangements. John Guinea turned to ask for help. Senior brother Kai Van asked him to help me inform him. He said that the second elder opened the alchemy furnace and wanted everyone to come and observe. The first person to arrive will be rewarded with a spirit pill. Original knitting. Kai Van nodded slightly, then followed his junior brother. Moments later, in the alchemy square, a group of disciples gathered around the yard, partly because they wanted to be rewarded with the spirit source pill, partly because they were curious to admire the alchemy skills of the second elder Lin Ha. They asked each other curiously, why is this? Doesn't the second elder have no method of refining pills? Why suddenly announce alchemy in front of everyone? Hayes, maybe the sect forced me to go. Before, the sect forced the seventh elder to accept disciples, but now the sect wants to force the second elder to refine pills. The second elder has no longer been qualified to refine medicinal pills for a hundred years. The sect wanted to refine pills in front of everyone, it seemed like they wanted to humiliate her. The elder prince raised his voice and asked Zhang Guni, there were more than a thousand people participating in the observation, so the competition should be able to start, right? Well, although there aren't many people, it's enough to get started. Invite the fourth elder to ask, what kind of medicinal pill do you want Elder Lian Ha to refine? The prince immediately threw a medicinal pill into Zhang Guni's hand. After all, Lin Ha and I are both junior sisters. I don't want to make it difficult for her, so let's refine the first grade original soul pill. As long as Lin Ha can refine the essence pill, which contains half the energy of the essence pill as mine, even if she wins, the prince will happily set the conditions. Zhang Guni is wondering? Aren't we betting on whether Elder Lian Xia is qualified to refine pills? How about the quality of medicinal pills? Of course there must be a requirement. Otherwise what if you find an available pill to cheat? If it's me, I need to be a little strict. Isn't this very unfair to everyone? The man cunningly thought to himself, I accidentally got the essence pill from an ancient secret place. Its quality is amazing. Don't say that Lin Ha is now useless. Even if it was her back then, she still wouldn't have been able to refine this high-quality primordial pill. I'm sure I won this bet. You clearly want to make things difficult for the second elder. Zhang Guni grasped the pill tightly. He secretly acknowledged the fourth elder. Your mind is really cunning. You know how to guard against cheating. But you think can you prevent? Zhang Guni immediately used the newly acquired skills, natural skills, and imitations. Consume 99 points of potential dragon energy to recreate a primordial pill. Looking at the two identical quality original pills in his hand, he thought proudly, Ha ha! Successful restoration. The fourth elder suddenly spoke up and reminded, If you have heard my test, I must protect the safety of this pill. If you do not dare to continue, then quickly admit defeat. John Guinea, if you don't know for sure, do you still dare to bet? You're not fully grown yet, this time I have to hit you really hard, she secretly calculated. John Guinea threw the original soul pill back to the elder snorted and said who wouldn't dare to take it, give the original soul pill back to you. Who's afraid of who? Little fish child, Elder Lin Ha called out worriedly. Her face was full of sadness. I tell you the truth, right now I don't have a way to refine a common medicinal pill like the original pill, not yet. I'm afraid that the origin pill that the prince gave you is of extremely high quality, I'm afraid. John Guni took the opportunity to hold her hand and smiled reassuringly. Second master, I believe in you, you can definitely do it. Hmm? This is, suddenly seeing a strange object in the palm of his hand, Lin Ha suddenly thought this was a primordial pill. Moreover, it is an extremely high-quality primordial pill. Zhang Guni gently winked and signaled to her, Okay, second master uncle, you should also go alchemy. Having said that, Lin Ha immediately jumped to the alchemy furnace. As she got into the position to refine the medicinal pills, she thought even though she didn't know where the little fisherman got the original soul pills from. I just need to use the fire to cover the original soul pills and the available medicinal ingredients. This contest is considered a win. You set fire to cover the pile of alchemy materials. The disciples closely observed and wondered about the second elder's alchemy techniques. Could it be that the rumor of not being able to alchemy was false? Some people spoke up to criticize. The rumors could not possibly be fake. The second elder was trying to show off his reputation. Just relying on his methods could not hide the fact that the elder could not refine pills. That's right, just wait and see, the medicinal pill she refined is definitely a waste pill. The prince happily thought to himself, Lin Ha, I didn't expect you to know how to act like that, but it's useless, you will immediately turn into a mouse passing by in the primeval holy land. Suddenly, 
There was a huge explosion from the alchemy furnace, startling everyone in the square. The disciples immediately laughed and laughed. As expected, the second elder will fail. As expected, the second elder will no longer have the face to go out this time. The prince laughed complacently. Ha 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 ha. Didn't expect the results to come so quickly. Second sister, you lost. Lin Ha gently landed and took out a pill from the furnace. Who said you were the one who lost? What? The prince exclaimed in panic. Lin Ha showed her the original soul pill, which had the same quality as the one in the question paper, and eloquently declared. You have lost. W. How is that possible? The prince shouted awkwardly. The disciples couldn't hide their surprise. The criticism from earlier immediately disappeared. The second elder actually practiced successfully. Looks like the rumors about the second elder were all fake. Is someone fabricating and blackening the second elder? The second elder is always pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger? The prince was extremely angry. She shouted in a loud voice, No way. It's obvious that you're disabled. How can you refine the essence pill? The truth is so clear. Why don't you take this essence pill from the elders to see if the quality meets the requirements? John Gunny gently reminded, Okay. I'll come compare. The prince forcefully snatched the original soul pill from Lin Hao's hand. You must have cheated with the original soul pill. Look, I will expose you. Here, here, comparing the two identical pills in his hand, the prince trembled and cried out. Yet, completely the same. The crowd of disciples marveled in admiration. I didn't feel wrong, did I? These two original pills have exactly the same vibrations, not the slightest difference. You don't feel wrong, they are exactly the same. There is no way in the world that there are two such identical essence pills. Unless there is an expert to refine it. It is impossible for the second elder to be able to refine it all. Oh, the second elder is too VIP. But he can actually refine a pill with the same energy, causing the qualities of the two medicinal pills are completely consistent. Even if you are an alchemy master, I'm afraid you won't be able to compete. The compliments rang out endlessly. The prince was so shocked that he dropped both of his original pills. She couldn't believe her eyes. I actually lost. Could it be that, all this time, the galaxy has been hiding its true strength? Zhang Guni happily said, Good lord, since you've already lost, why don't you hurry up and pay back the bet? The martial arts masters gathered around the ring burst out laughing. What? The second elder and the fourth elder actually made a bet. No wonder they invited us to observe. This is because they want us to be witnesses. Ha ha, from this perspective, I wonder what they are betting on. The fourth elder son pointed straight at him and shouted, John Guni, I advise you to forget this matter, otherwise you will not be able to bear the consequences. John Guni sighed softly, sigh. Elder Luke's words had no meaning at all. If that's the case, I'll repeat a few words of Elder Luke, he said with a dark face. I really don't have the ability to admit it. You need to put your heart into it, but you should think carefully to see if you can stop the backlash of heaven or not. I, hearing John Guni say that, the elder prince was startled and scared. Damn it. No wonder he forced me to swear an oath to heaven. It turns out he had already planned for me. Say, what do you want me to do? She asked softly. John Gundy replied very simply. You must now kneel down in front of your second master and apologize. What? The elder son shouted angrily. You dare to ask me to kneel down and apologize for exposing my waist in front of so many people? Suddenly, a bolt of lightning fell, and the prince was afraid when he could not resist his oath to heaven. John Guni faintly said it's okay, I won't force it, even if I don't have the original intention, as long as the elder son can prevent the consequences of violating the oath to heaven, you. The prince was angry and speechless. Okay, I will agree. She hissed, grimacing. Immediately after, the elder son knelt down, placing his hands on the ground. Second sister, I'm sorry, please forgive me for being rude to you. Hearing the apologies from the elder prince's mouth. Tears suddenly rolled down her cheeks. She emotionally said that it's been more than a hundred. I don't want him to pray. It's not like I hope for these people. Said sorry to me. But when I actually heard it, I suddenly felt that it was a waste of hundreds of years of time because of fighting for power. And I felt like it was a waste. I am not meant to live for others. I don't need them to say sorry. Wanting to pursue the great path has always been meaningless to me. Every word she said, the vow with the heavenly way that is restraining the elder's son, it gradually disappears. The earthly world follows the wind. Cause and effect depend on fate. A giant fire dragon was suddenly formed from the aura of the elder lotus. The martial arts masters around them widened their eyes and shouted, Holy fire! Is the second elder spiritual fire? Rumor has it that hundreds of years ago, the second elder of the spirit fire accidentally fell into a deep sleep, but did not expect to wake up today. 
What today? The second elder's spiritual fire had already entered the furnace. Otherwise how could he have refined the medicine? Elder Juan Noyet was extremely excited at the scene that had just taken place. She secretly thought that her second sister had escaped the evil mind and had once again awakened her own spiritual fire destiny. That arrogance must have returned to the alchemy master. No wonder Lin Ha was able to refine the essence pill, so she had already restored her original spirit fire. The elder's son was so scared that he was shaking. She was secretly plotting a plan. No, I have to quickly tell this to senior brother, otherwise our great plan will be affected. John Guni, I have remembered today. Three days later the secret realm of Deng Yen will open. I will be waiting for you. After saying that, she immediately ran away. John Guni bewilderedly asked, What are you waiting for? Do you want to continue kneeling? Humph, I'm waiting for you. Do you think I'm afraid of you? While he was shouting eloquently, a beautiful lady suddenly walked up to him. That was Elder Lin Ha. After awakening the sleeping spirit fire, she gently called the little fisherman, second master uncle. John Guni blushed and shouted loudly. Thank you, she hugged John Guni, burying his face in her plump breasts after regaining her youthful beauty. Without you, I will never be able to return to the way I was before. So cue meat dumplings. Thanks to you, I have been able to feel happiness for these few hundred years. Lin Ha happily said. John Guni was choking, stammering and saying geez. Second master. I can't breathe. The surrounding martial artists watched the scene of the two embracing each other, and the whole scene froze. Elder Lian Ha immediately let go of John Guni, cleared his throat slightly, coughed, that. Meanwhile, John Guni rubbed his cheeks, thinking to himself that my handsome face has been flattened. For the sake of the little fisher's reputation, each person who comes to the secret place to observe me refining pills will receive ten spirit essence pills. What? Each person can receive ten pills. Ten pills? Is this too exaggerated? Even though we ventured into the secret realm of Lagoon, the sect only generously gave us three pills each. The second elder is really kind. Thank you second elder. When the martial artists heard that, they shouted with joy. Elder Lin Ha waved his hand and said, No need to thank me, I just thought you guys gave it to me for the dignity of my senior brother Zhang Guni. If you want to thank, then thank your senior brother. The group of junior brothers clasped their hands and shouted in unison, Thank you, senior brother Zhang Guni. Zhang Guni looked at Elder Lin Ha and thought to himself, Second Master Uncle is here to help me win people's hearts, to help me gain a better status as a first-level disciple. He respectfully bowed his head and thanked Second Master for worrying about me. Little fish, you helped me restore the spirit fire. That was a great kindness. In the future, you don't need to bow to me like that. Lin Ha smiled and replied. The alchemist, the elder's disciple, worriedly asked, Isn't it too much for the master to give each person ten spirit essence pills? You don't have that many spirit essence pills in your hand. Lin Ha heard that and softly reassured, Don't worry, I have completely restored my original spirit fire. She once again used powerful spiritual energy to summon the fire dragon, which immediately wrapped its giant body around the medicinal pill furnace. Lin Ha confidently said that so many spirit origin pills were just picked up by hand. Ugh, this second master uncle's alchemy technique is too violent. Zhang Guni's eyes widened and he shouted in surprise. Elder Huan Noyet spoke with tears in his eyes. It's been more than a hundred years. I haven't seen the second senior sister's spirit and alchemy like that. She turned to thank Zhang Guni. Little fish, this is all your merit. He smiled brightly. Ha ha. The master is over it. The disciples just don't want to see others being bullied. Danton, from the furnace, hundreds of high-level medicinal pills were quickly created. Go, Elder Lin Ha ordered, and the spirit pills immediately flew straight to Zhang Guni's junior brothers. They were so excited that they were able to refine so many spirit essence pills so quickly. The second elder was truly amazing. It's ten spirit origin pills. I've never seen so many spirit origin pills since I started. With this spirit source pill in hand, we are in the secret realm of Deng Yen. Second order disciples can go to a few places. We also dare to go in once. After distributing the medicinal pills, Elder Huan Noyet said in a serious voice, Everyone should quickly disperse. The second elder wanted to rest. Okay, disciple says goodbye. The group of people left one after another. Lin Ha gently walked to Huan Noyet's side. Sigh, she let out a soft sigh. The expressions on both of their faces seemed to carry a lot of feelings. Seeing this, Zhang Guni immediately asked his master and second master uncle why their faces were so gloomy. Elder Huan Noyet replied softly that the disciple had just mentioned the secret realm of Deng Yen. Little fish, 
Three days later, the secret realm of Deng Yen will open, and the Holy Master will reward you as the only new disciple allowed to enter. Secret inflammation. Isn't this a good thing? He raised his eyebrows in question. It's a good thing, but the person hosting the secret realm this time is Zhou Ya and the prince. I'm afraid they will cause you trouble. Huan Noyet frowned and explained, Sai, the holy master is really a, doesn't she know that the elders are targeting the little fisherman, and doesn't stand up to support or help? She glared and said that the saint was doing it on purpose. The saint master was hoping that the little fish was constantly pressuring him to move forward. Lin Ha was extremely angry. She huffed and asked, she wanted to be gentle. What if the little fisherman had not had enough experience to withstand being oppressed and killed, and would have been beaten to death? That proves that the little fish is not a true genius, and the holy master will not show any mercy. The holy master, for the sake of the sect, will not care about whether people die or live. Seven sisters, don't worry, I won't let the little fish die. Lin Ha suddenly placed her hand on Huan Noyet's shoulder, smiling affirmatively. Then, she turned and said to Zhang Guni, Little fish, you can practice by eating my waste pills. I will immediately refine you a super powerful pill making your cultivation level improve dramatically. Ah, uh, that second master, in fact I really like eating poisonous pills, the more toxic the better, to the point of normal medicinal pills, I don't like it very much, he replied awkwardly. Word. Lin Han nodded and commented, no wonder you said my waste pills don't taste good, it seems the reason is physical, roughly, that's it. Lin Ha pondered for a while, then she said um, the more toxic the medicine you ask for, the better, right? I can actually practice this. In the alchemy room, Elder Lin Ha was concentrating hard on making a poison pill for Zhang Guni. Standing behind and observing, Zhang Guni exclaimed with a face full of expectation, This unique pill, of my uncle's is absolutely one of a kind. At that moment, Lin Ha suddenly slapped the alchemy furnace. A stream of green medicinal pills rose up, she immediately raised the cup to catch it, happily saying it was done. Strong toxic gas emanated from the medicinal pill cup signaling an extremely powerful toxin. The two alchemists' faces turned pale and they asked in fear, but it wasn't a solid, but a liquid? Second lady, what exactly did you practice? Elder Lin Ha smiled and explained that this was mine prepared for the little fisherman, and was titled 10,000 Poison Ancestor Poison Liquid. The name wants your fate in the three heavens. As she spoke, she smiled an extremely sinister smile. Want your fate in the three heavens? Is this guy too terrifying? All four people trembled and cried out. Not even a little terrible. Lin Ha continued speaking with pride. When I was on the battlefield of the Holy Territory, I used a Third Order Earth Dragon monster to experiment with this poisonous liquid. The result was that the Earth Dragon died miserably, and the spirit cores exploded. John Guni's eyes widened and exclaimed that all the spirit cores were full. What? Lin Ha continued. Not only that, at that time, when the body of that Earth Dragon decomposed, the area of more than a dozen miles was stained with blood and black color. Decades later, no more than that, both people and animals no longer exist. Bones are white as snow, blood flows into rivers. When everyone heard that, they were so shocked that their faces turned pale. Then they exclaimed, That's too strong. It's not over yet. Elder Lin Ha continued, This is not even the most powerful thing. Then, a strong golden pill entered the forbidden area and accidentally touched that earth dragon corpse. As a result, the golden pill immediately shattered. That strong? Zhang Guni and the other two alchemy masters turned pale after hearing this, and were so scared that they were shaking all over. This poisonous liquid is too overbearing. Can my hidden dragon's constitution be able to handle it? He was sweating profusely and thought to himself, If I can't carry it, I can only run away directly. That alchemist said with weak hands and feet, Master, this poison can kill a strong golden pill. It is too against the heavens. However, Lin Ha frowned and sighed, against the heavens is against the heavens, but it has a fatal flaw. That is, this thing cannot be effective immediately. It takes thirty times a day, continuously for three days, to develop the toxicity, she said sternly. John Guni breathed a sigh of relief, so that's it, he thought brightly, eh? I can't see the results immediately, so I won't be afraid anymore. Thinking about it, John Guni couldn't hold back his joy and jumped straight to Elder Lin Ha and Second Marshal Uncle. The secret realm of Dung Veen was just three days away from opening. Wanting the fate of this person in the three heavens was truly for me. That's funny. Thank you, second master. Quickly give me a drink. However, Elder Lin Ha immediately raised the bowl of medicinal pills high and softly said to the little fisherman not to be hasty. This poisonous liquid is not for drinking. Ah? Uh, not for drinking? So how to use? 
John Guni's eyes widened curiously. She suddenly took out a giant needle. If you want your life, this three heavens also has another drawback, which is, you have to use this thing to pour into your body. Elder Lin Ha laughed loudly and said, looking at the giant and extremely sharp injection, John Guni gasped and exclaimed, ah, second master uncle, are you kidding me? This thing is so big, it will kill you. Lin Ha swung his foot and kicked John Guni's butt, reassuring him, you won't die, just be patient and endure a little and you will get used to this feeling, come here. Elder Lin Ha had already set up a needle waiting for Zhang Guni. He groaned in fear, no need. The moment the arrow entered his butt, Zhang Guni's eyes widened and her whole body trembled. His mouth let out a cry of pain that reached the sky. Three days later, Zhang Guni still had to use crutches to walk, his legs still shaking. He humbly asked Elder Lin Ha, second master uncle, today is the last dose, right? That's right. You look more self-aware now, contrary to your gentle appearance. She seemed to enjoy doing this terrifying injection thing. Right when the last arrow went in, John Guni still couldn't seem to get used to that feeling. He gritted his teeth and let out a strange Itai sound. Lin Ha injected the entire syringe. She breathed a sigh of relief and said, Okay, all the poison has entered your body. If you want it to be effective, you have to prepare well. Suddenly, from John Guni's injection wound, a stream of dark spiritual energy was released. That stream of air quickly gathered into a giant ball of energy enveloping Zhang Guni. Elder Lin Ha was startled and took a few steps back. A voice suddenly came out from Zhang Guni's mind. The host had encountered a life-threatening poison and had transformed into potential dragon energy. His whole body was changing extremely strongly. That voice continued to congratulate the host on receiving 18,888 potential dragon energy points in one go. The host receives 18,888 points of potential dragon energy for the first time and grants special physical strength underscore underscore gathering spirit. The host can consume 1,888 points of potential dragon energy. Compress it 1888 times, forming a spirit ball used for combat. Each ball when exploded has a power equivalent to the strongest strike of a peak bamboo machine. Strongman, John Guni was startled and exclaimed, the strongest blow from the peak bamboo engine. That strong? I just want to see how that medicine pill turns out. Condensed. After saying that, he immediately condensed that huge power into his palm. The host consumes 1888 points of potential dragon energy and successfully gathers one bullet to be returned. Looking at the finished product that had just been created, John Guni exclaimed in surprise, This is not a medicine pill, is it? This is a grenade. Testing and measuring the host's thinking, the aura medicine pill is known as grenade. Meanwhile, in his palace, the sixth elder Chua was sitting cross-legged on the throne, silently observing. In front of her is the scene of Mu Tran Kuang and Lang Gu cultivating together. Two people, a man and a woman, lean close to each other, exchanging energy with each other to increase their cultivation. A moment later, Elder Chua walked over and asked the monk, How did the meeting ceremony the monk prepared for you? Lang Gu immediately knelt down at Chu A's feet and respectfully thanked the master for accepting me as his disciple and also helping me and the pastor brother practice together. The disciple's cultivation level had undergone a major change. It was truly like a dream she continued brightly. Next to him, Muk Tran Kuang focused his eyes on Ling Gu's plump butt. He licked his lips and thought to himself that the lotion my master found for me is indeed not bad. Elder Chua smirked and said that in the future, you and Kuang Ni should remember to support each other well. If Kuang Ni has a need, you must satisfy it. I understand. Ling Ling once again bowed his head to receive orders. However, in her heart she cursed silently, she deserved to die. She accepted me as her disciple because she wanted me to become the leader of that MUC Tran Kuang. Mu Tran Kuang spoke up to report to the elder, the master, and together with junior sister Ling for a while, his disciple's strength had gone one step further, and with the help of senior sister Lang. Dung Veem's secret round this time, the disciple must kill Zhang Guni to wash away the previous humiliation. Zhou Yin nodded and replied, Well, the two of you working together have reached the foundation stage. Even though Zhang Guni is very strong, it's just the refining stage, not joking, but for a moment your eyes can defeat Zhang Guni. However, in this secret realm of Deng Yen, in addition to wanting to kill Zhang Guni, besides that, you also have an important task to perform, that is to capture Deng Yen Pearl, she did not forget to remind you. What? Mu Tran Kuang worriedly asked again, Master, basically Deng Yen Pearl is the entire secret realm of Deng Yen, just relying on me and junior sister Lang Ge, I'm afraid. Elder Zhou Ye immediately gave Mu Tran Kuang a book. This was a map of the location of Deng Yen Chao. Rest assured, when that time comes, someone in the group will support you. 
When finished, she waved her hand and ordered, Okay, you guys quickly depart for the secret realm. Muk Tran Kuang, okay. Then the two men, Tran Kuang and Lang Ge, turned and left. After leaving for a while, Muk Tran Kuang flashed a sinister smile. He thought to himself that if I can get the Dung Yen Pearl, I'm afraid my strength will be upgraded to the Golden Dan level. At that time, I can bring Master Aid at all. Lang Ge was constantly calculating in his heart. Although he didn't know what Dung Yen Chao was, it was definitely a top treasure. If I could get it, I could get rid of these two disgusting masters. A moment later, in Chu Asia's private room, the thin curtain gradually opened. The person who entered was a million spirits. He smiled and asked if everything was arranged. Zhou Asia happily ran to report the arrangements made by senior brother. I must have done my best. Um, million spirits nodded and expressed satisfaction. He gently lifted up one side of Chu Ei's hair and softly said whether or not I can break through the golden pill and become a powerhouse on the Holy Land continent, thanks to this moment. Zhou Asia's face turned red and she replied that her younger sister would definitely help her senior brother rush to the sky. The thin dress on her body was gradually taken off. Through the thin curtain, we can see the bodies of millions of spirits and ghosts intertwined. The hazy smoke emitting makes the space even more romantic and seductive. In the secret realm of peach trees, looking at the dark mass of energy enveloping Zhang Guni, everyone wondered if they had to immediately leave for the secret place within the next hour. How come you haven't come out yet? The old slave was worried and wondered if the young master wouldn't be poisoned to death, right? Elder Lin Ha heard this and spoke up to reassure him. Don't worry. Zhang Guni's unique natural talent and physical condition will absolutely not cause any trouble. Right after that, Zhang Guni broke through the energy ball and jumped out. Elder Lin Ha happily shouted, Look, isn't it already out? He immediately landed in front of everyone. Zhang Guni did not forget to pose in a cool landing pose. He thought proudly, Perfect. I'm so handsome in this pose. Master, second master, you must have moved your mind, right? Come and pat my head, then bury my face in your chest. At that moment, a warm embrace pulled him into his chest. Turns out it was the old slave with tears in his eyes. He said with tears in his eyes, Sir, you made the old slave worry to death. Thank you. Zhang Guni replied with a pale face. Okay. Elder Xian Noyet walked up to him, cleared his throat, and said, Zhang Guni, this time you entered the secret realm of Deng Vim. It was both a chance and a test. This medicinal pill may help you. Seeing this, Elder Lin Ha was startled and exclaimed, Seven Sister. You actually want to give the golden pill in the secret realm of space and time to Zhang Ge. Zhang Ge Ni alone did not understand anything. He naively asked what Tian Sha Kim Dan was. Is it tasty? Heavenly kill golden pill seems to have surpassed the highest limit of this world. Elder Huan Noi yet explained in a deep voice. According to my guess, before the medicinal pill became a pill, after enduring the temptation of training, heaven wanted to destroy this thing, so I named this pill is the heavenly kill golden pill. Lian Xia Dat prevents seven salts. This pill has a relationship with the secret realm, most likely related to whether your body can recover or not, not to mention the unknown effect. There is no need to give it to the little fish. Go. Is this medicinal pill that important? Only then did Zhang Guni understand. He pointed at the medicinal pill in his hand, confused and said, Master, you still need to take this medicinal pill back. You know, what I ask for is a poison pill. Normal pills are of no use to me. I have my intentions for you. Elder Huanoyet frowned and refused. The energy in your body is somewhat similar to the golden pill. Both can help me restore my true body. Placed in your hands, it will definitely have extremely good effects. Wow. John Guni was moved and exclaimed, My disciple is my husband. Yes, Huanoyet replied softly. Elder Lin Ha proudly praised the little fisherman. You have grown up in the master's heart. As the second uncle, I should show some respect. Over the past few days, I have refined more than 200,000 spirit essence pills and gave them to you to use. Damn, 20,000. Second master, you've been so good to me. I'm willing to give up my last drop for you. Zhang Guni was so happy that he jumped up and down. Behind him, the old slave gently cleared his throat and coughed. Everyone has donated things. I also have a treasure to give you. If you are in danger, it may save you a while. Having said that, he immediately took out a spreadsheet that looked old and gave it to him. Hmm. Zhang Guni thoughtfully looked at the item. This should be the legendary Tan Tui thing? A few days later, hundreds of people gathered in front of a large mirror encrusted with dragons and phoenixes made of pure gold. That was the gate leading to the secret realm of Dung Vim. The invitation to join the team rang out continuously. I trained my weapons. Nine masters, 
welcome you to join the team and explore the secret realm of Dung Veeam together. Join our Tian Lang battle team. Each person will be given a spirit source pill. The crowd was competing with each other to shout. The immortal bird battle team recruited people to hunt for geniuses and treasures. The team members could be divided in half, with a profit five times higher than other teams. Please join us. Standing on high and observing, the fourth elder smiled and asked the younger sister, Have you made the arrangements yet? Sixth elder Chuan replied, Don't worry, I will make that fisherman become an orphan, looking for teammates everywhere but not coming. What about you? I'm by your side so you don't have to worry. I've already assigned Zhang Gini's identity to Yin Dok Tri. As long as he's teleported inside, he won't die or be disabled. Then, I can rest assured. Huan Noyet's disciple, if we let him continue to live, he will definitely leave behind extremely bad consequences, so he must die. The prince calmly said that dealing with that Zhang Guni guy was just a small matter. Just do it easily. The big brother's things are the important things to do. There is no need to rush. Huh? Senior brother also told you? Shuan exclaimed in surprise. Hee hee. Not just talking. Senior brother also let me help him myself. The prince gave a sinister smile. She pulled the hood to cover her head. Chu En's eyes widened in surprise. What? Are you the mysterious person arranged by senior brother to assist Pastor Tran Kuang? No need to be so surprised. My relationship with senior brother, you cannot imagine. After that, she walked away. Looking at the prince's shadow gradually flying away, Chua's heart was filled with indignation. Damn the prince, you can't imagine my relationship with my eldest brother. Dare to take my eldest brother? Sooner or later you will die. Senior brother, this is the gathering place. I can only bring you here. John Guinea wondered HM? Haven't you entered the secret realm of Dung Veen? The alchemist softly replied that I am an alchemist, and from the moment of conception, my body is inherently fire, and the secret realm of fusion does not help my cultivation very much. So that's it. Looking at his back leaving, John Guni nodded and commented, John Guni, senior brother. Suddenly he heard a loud call from afar, hundreds of martial artists crowded together, excitedly welcoming him, senior brother John Guni. You have finally come, quickly let us join your team. Senior brother is invincible in refining weapons. As long as you follow senior brother. This journey into the secret realm will definitely bring great rewards. Senior brother, I have admired you for a long time, today this pirate ship, ah. I've already chosen this boat. John Guni exclaimed in surprise, surrounded by endless cheers. John Guni thought it was a fantasy. How could I be welcomed like this? My handsomeness cannot be hidden. He gently cleared his throat a few times, coughed. John Guni seriously said that if everyone sincerely wants to participate, I will. A shrill gong suddenly rang out, interrupting his words. The servant loudly invited, Senior Brother Muk Tran Kuang has formed a battle team. Each person who joins will be rewarded with 20 spirit essence pills. There is no limit to the number of people. The more people the better. Once in a hundred years opportunity. Should not be missed. What were the excited martial artists shouting about? Twenty pills? That big brother, next time in the secret world I will find you to form a team. They immediately flocked to Muk Tran Kuang. There were so many, big brother, I really wanted to form a team with you, big brother, I really wanted to but the other side really gave too much. Big brother, next time I will definitely help you, this time I will say goodbye to you. Zhang Gundi looked at the group of people leaving and screamed damn it. He hurriedly ran to beg each of these people, don't go. If you all go, what should I do now? I don't know where else to put my face. Regardless of Zhang Guni's efforts, in the end no one was willing to stay by his side. He sullenly said why, is it possible that my excellence is not as good as twenty spirit pills? Obviously they're all gone. Zhang Guni's bright eyes turned back, he exclaimed though. Is there still one person who hasn't left yet? This little junior brother. I didn't expect that you are not only handsome, but also have such sharp eyes. Zhang Guni excitedly praised, because you have phoenix-like eyes. I immediately recognized you. That little junior brother trembled and said that actually I also want to go over there. But I don't know which bastard stepped on my foot, causing me so much pain that I couldn't move. He cried out with tears in his eyes, Ah, eh, eh, it hurts me to death. Hearing that, John Guni looked so disappointed that he couldn't speak. That little junior brother hurriedly called out to senior brother, Please bring me over to the side. I also want to get those twenty spirit essence pills. John Guni shouted in annoyance and fart. Isn't it just twenty spirit essence pills? You follow me, I'll give you. Just twenty pills? Ling Ling suddenly stepped forward and said contemptuously, John Guni, you're still the same as before, your tone is so loud. John Guni frowned and replied, 
But you are no different from before, still so easygoing. How did you get into the intersect? Lang Ge hummed in Zhang Gini's voice, stopped moving his lips in front of me. Maybe you don't know. The sixth elder accepted me as his disciple and also rewarded me with a thousand spirit essence pills. Your master probably isn't that generous to you, right? Perhaps you have never seen a thousand spirit essence pills in your entire life, right? Ha 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 ha, she laughed proudly. Zhang Guni replied softly that I had never seen such a small number. After saying that, he immediately released a series of medicinal pills of extremely high quality. Twenty thousand pills, laughable. What? Overwhelmed with this huge amount of medicinal pills, Ling Ling's face turned pale. Muk Tran Kuang was startled and thought, Why does Zhang Guni have so many Lin Guin Dan? The group of martial artists widened their eyes and shouted, 200,000 pills? Damn, do you play hacking? 20 capsules. Senior brother is truly an unrevealed true person. They immediately changed their attitude, ahaha, big brother, don't misunderstand. Just now I was just deceiving that stupid Tran Duong. I want to team up with you. That's right, we already know that senior brother has hidden secrets. How can that brat Tran Muk Kuang be compared to you? Does Tran Kuang, a poor peasant, still think that twenty spirit essence pills will move us? Damn it! How could our loyalty to senior brother be bribed for the sake of twenty spirit essence pills, you guys? Zhang Guni said with a dark face, Get the hell out of here! He threw a blow to blow away the martial artists. They cried out in pain, Ah, ah yeah. It seems I see Fan Mu at the bottom of society. That twisted piece of mobile coal is walking around at the bottom of society. Zhang Guni glared and shouted, Hum! You bunch of people like you who see profit and forget sense, don't know how to catch a good horse and not turn around to eat old grass? Then, he turned to his junior brother just now, fat little junior brother, just now you were the only one who didn't go. I'll give you two thousand spirit essence pills, if it's not enough, just tell me. The fat junior brother exclaimed in shock, two, two thousand pills, originally because he was stepped on by someone else, but now he gets two thousand spirit pills, this is too lucky, he whispered think. Suddenly a young lady stepped in front of Zhang Guni, cleared her throat and called out to me, who didn't leave. You must also give me two thousand medicinal pills. This girl has an extremely beautiful face, sharp and cold eyes, an off-the-shoulder short dress that reveals her slender arms and extremely loud speakers. Round. Zhang Guni stared at her, then gave an extremely perverted smile. Oh. Is there also a beautiful girl like that among the disciples? Before that, I only paid attention to the elder. What a narrow vision. The fat junior brother ran over with a smile as bright as a flower. Thank you, for a few. Elder brother's medicinal pills. Today, since I joined the senior brother's team, I'm free to let the senior brother give me instructions, even if it's not up the mountain and down into the sea of fire. I also decided to listen. Get out of the way. John Guni immediately pushed him aside. Suddenly I feel like my team doesn't need you anymore. He looked at that girl and said happily, Little junior brother awkwardly reminded Big, Senior brother, you have to be careful. You, if you act against her, you will be in danger. You're right. Her body has such great damage. It's really dangerous. If not controlled well, it's easy to get burned. But I'm not afraid. I like danger, John Guni said. Senior brother, the danger I'm talking about is not about this. The fat junior brother shouted in confusion. This woman's name is Lam Tian Nei a disciple of the fifth elder. Zhang Guni turned to look at him, frowning and wondering, what about the disciples of the fifth elder? The five elders stole the sect's treasure, the ice bead, and betrayed the sect, leaving only Lan Thiane alone. Now every time the sect is active, she is eliminated by everyone. If you team up with her, I'm afraid it will cause more trouble, fat brother explained in a low voice. Hearing that, Zhang Guni thought thoughtfully, he muttered softly, it turned out to be like that. No wonder I have never seen the master mention the five elders. Lam Tian Nei spoke coldly. Quickly give me two thousand medicinal pills. John Guni thought for a moment. He replied softly. I think that for a woman with a special status like you, it would not be very appropriate to give you two thousand spirit pills. Before John Guni's answer, Lam Tian Nei was shocked and speechless. She immediately turned around, frowned and thought to herself, Huh, what big brother? Turns out he's no different from other men. The fat junior brother looked at her leaving back admiring, wow, finally the big senior brother was no longer blinded by beauty. I haven't finished my sentence yet. John Guni suddenly spoke up. Lam Tian Nei suddenly looked back. John Guni continued leisurely. What I mean is, someone like you is not very suitable for two thousand spirit pills. Lam Tian Nei seemed not to understand the meaning behind his words, but it takes twenty thousand pills. John Guni immediately threw out a series of pills, 
covering the entire sky above his head. What? Surrounded by countless medicinal pills, Lan Tian Nei exclaimed in amazement. Seeing this, the fat junior brother widened his eyes and shouted, Damn, this guy is really lustful. Ah, his eyes are blinded by beauty. His whole body is immersed in beauty. John Gunny boldly stepped up. He loudly announced, Okay, our group of three has been formed. You guys quickly pick up all the medicinal pills. The passage is about to open. Senior brother, do you really want to form a team with Lam Tian Nei? The fat junior brother was still surprised and asked awkwardly, On the word, sharp, there is always a knife, you have to think carefully. Who would have thought Zhang Guni would scold you in a loud voice? What did you say? I didn't team up with her because I wanted her beauty? I simply saw her, strength. The fat junior brother was still trembling and said, But her master betrayed the sect, if we team up with her we will be punished. Implicated, her master betrayed the sect, it wasn't her who betrayed her, what crime did she commit? Why did she vent her anger on her? Zhang Guni said with a very spirited voice, I can't control how others see her. All I can do is treat her like a disciple. Why are we afraid of getting involved? Go against your conscience? In his heart, he happily chuckled. This time we will definitely eat. Touched by Zhang Guni's generosity, Lam Tian Nei blushed and thought, Zhang Guni is not like other people. The fat junior brother excitedly ran to Zhang Guni's side, praising senior brother for being so noble. Junior brother has learned that, in fact, he is always targeted by everyone. Can senior brother give can I have 10 or 20 thousand spirit essence pills to comfort me? You deserve it. Fuck off. John Guni scowled and kicked his junior brother. The junior brother received a painful blow, rolled a few times and groaned, Oh yeah. The sixth elder Chue also appeared at this time. Before the passage opened, a large crowd had gathered. They shouted in unison, paying their respects to the sixth elder. Pay your respects to the sixth elder. I'm sorry. Chua waved her hand and replied, The passage has been opened. You will be teleported to a secret realm at random. You all have to be careful. Many thanks to the sixth elder for reminding us. Let's go. The crowd immediately started talking. Pay attention. Members of the same team should hold hands. Otherwise it will be easy to be transferred to different secret realms. Suddenly Chua was startled to discover a familiar figure. Hmm? Zhang Guni. I didn't expect him to be able to find a teammate but I won't let you have what you want. Very quickly, Jiang Guni also discovered the murderous gaze of the elder Zhou Yo was aiming at him. He frowned and looked back. This Zhou Asia had suffered losses at his hands before, and was certain that this time he would cause trouble. You have to be careful. Two people, we have to hold hands. He immediately grabbed the fat little junior brother's hand and started performing. Stepping forward boldly, Jiang Guni did not forget to remind everyone to be careful. Senior brother, isn't it just entering the passage? Why do you look so serious? The fat brother asked worriedly. John Gundy replied in a low voice, I have offended you. When the little fat brother heard that, he immediately smiled and said that Elder Luke is very generous. Surely he wouldn't be calculating with a disciple like you. Chua lost the bet to me. I forced her to kneel down and apologize in front of everyone. John Gundy told the story with a dark face. The fat junior brother coldly exclaimed, Oh. He scratched his head and awkwardly asked that, Senior brother. I suddenly remembered that the house was cooking soup and now I want to leave. Is there still time? John Gurney was filled with momentum and pulled his two disciples to run. There was no time left. Go quickly. Aye, aye, aye. The fat junior brother cried out in fear. The three people quickly rushed to the front passage. At that time, Elder Zhouya suddenly showed an extremely sinister smile. John Gurney. I have raised the difficulty of your entering the passage to the Bao Foundation stage. Let me see how you will beg me to enter. Suddenly realizing something strange was happening at the gate, John Guni immediately slowed down. What? Just as he reached the teleportation space, a large bolt of lightning suddenly shot out. Ah, a thunderous explosion erupted, blowing John Guni and his two disciples far away. He and Lam Tian Nei quickly landed in a defensive stance, while the fat junior brother rolled around a few more times. Why is this? My face hurts so much. Fat Junior Brother covered his face and cried out. The energy rebound just now has reached the bamboo stage. Lam Tian Nei worriedly said to Zhang Guni, It seems that indeed, Elder Luke has taken action. He hissed through gritted teeth. Zhang Guni, from behind, Elder Chua suddenly touched the ground. Is this your revenge? Six elders? Zhang Guni raised his eyebrows questioningly. Chua replied in a disdainful tone, I told you, as a human being, you have to leave a path. One day you will come back. If you had asked me at that time for some cultivation resources, even if it was a sex secret treasure, I would not have been stingy. Dull. 
But you only wanted a moment of joy, didn't know how to seize the opportunity, and instead humiliated me in front of everyone. Now the secret realm of Dung Veeam is opened and I'm in charge, you're afraid you don't have a chance. Enter, she said with a dark face. John Guni burst out laughing. Ha ha, do you think I care about your so-called resources and secret treasures? To a genius like me, the things you call treasures are not worth a dime to me. Huh? Oral and gum injections. Joya shouted, right now you can't enter the secret realm if you want to. So where do you get the courage to stand in front of me and call yourself a genius? The little fat junior brother heard this and exclaimed in shock. Can't enter the secret realm? That, wouldn't we also lose our chance? Chua immediately gave me the conditions. You don't need to worry. Just leave Zhang Nguni squad now. I will immediately let you in. The fat junior brother exclaimed in surprise and left the senior brother's team. He immediately refused. It was difficult to do. I needed to join the senior brother's team. Naturally if I received the medicine, wouldn't I want to leave and never return? It's just an opportunity to enter the secret realm to practice. What's the point if you don't go? Lam Tian Ne hummed in agreement. Chua lowered his voice, you guys. Then she suddenly glared and hissed. But she was still so obsessed with understanding. At this time, Zhang Guni stepped forward and clasped his hands to thank the two of you for not leaving me. But don't worry, I will definitely take you into this secret place today. Are you talking in a vile tone? Come on. Zhang Guni, where do you get such confidence? Currently, the secret passageway must be in the bamboo stage. What can a poor person like you use to enter? Zhang Guni pointed straight at Chua's face and said so eloquently, Elder Luke dares to make a bet with me. The bet is very simple. If I can enter the secret realm of Deng Yen, you must do one thing for me. Elder Chua worriedly thought to himself, What is this Zhang Guni doing? Before my fourth husband and I were both exhausted by him, this time we can't bet with him again. How? Don't you dare? Zhang Guni said very confidently, If you don't dare to bet, don't waste my time. Get out and let me open the passage. I don't want to waste time entering the secret realm. Hearing Zhang Guni's bold words, the fat little junior brother was extremely shocked. Ah, big senior brother is so powerful. The sixth elder didn't even dare to bet with him. He immediately took out a pen and paper to write down, Gulp, I also have to remember, in the future, don't arbitrarily challenge senior brother. Eight things you shouldn't do, don't let the second senior practice alchemy. Two don't. Let the seventh elder set up three formations. Three must not disguise himself in front of the fourth elder. Four must not tell the holy master that the sixth elder has betrayed him. Five must not talk to the sixth elder. Six must not make friends with him. Lam Tian Ne. Seven. Don't tease big brother. Eight. Don't tease Vinicon. He's an idol. He chewed four hundred bucks. Elder Chua then moved aside to the passage, snorted and said, A group of people who don't know how high and how thick the earth is. I'll take a look and see how you guys get through this foundation period passage. I just used this thing. Zhang Guni immediately threw out the grenade that was refined the day before. My grenade has a power comparable to the peak bamboo foundation, trying to break the passage of the cowardly bamboo foundation period. As easy as turning your hand, the grenade flew straight towards the glass blocking the transmission space inside the gate. A huge explosion erupted, shaking the entire gate. The smoke flew away, and a large crack suddenly appeared on the glass, revealing the path leading into the teleportation space. What? Elder Chua was startled and exclaimed, What was the trick just now? Yet it has power equivalent to that of a peak foundation. Lam Tian Ne and the little fat junior brother were surprised and thought to themselves, Zhang Guni is so powerful. The big senior brother actually has such a strong trump card. He placed his hands on the shoulders of his two disciples and said in a deep voice, Why are you standing there absent-mindedly? You too, let's go quickly. Great. Having said that, the three of them immediately rushed into the gate leading to the secret world, much to the surprise of the elder. I saw all three leave. Chua watched them leave helplessly. She angrily gritted her teeth, humph, even though she didn't know how you entered the secret realm. I also don't believe you can survive in the poison pond. Meanwhile, Mok Tran Kuang and Lang Ge landed on a barren land in a mysterious landscape. Both the ground and the river seemed to be dyed blood red by the moonlight. The scared language asked us where is this? I feel like this place is very dangerous. Muk Tran Kuang looked around and replied that this place is Yen Dok Tri. The master intentionally teleported us here. Because we want us to make this guy Zhang Guni die in this toxic lake in just a moment. Can this poisonous gas cause death at the peak of Qi refining? Lang Lang asked fearfully. Of course. Suddenly there was light transmitted in the sky. A martial artist landed close to the edge of the cliff. He breathed a sigh of relief. Wow. 
It was dangerous. He almost fell into the poison pond. A. From behind, another martial artist suddenly fell on him. No. Too suddenly, the two fell straight into the poisonous pond. Oh, save my life. The two martial artists panicked and called for help, but the poison had eroded more than half of their bodies. Saved his life. He only had time to groan in pain, his body immediately decomposing into dry bones. Looking at the two skulls floating in the water, Lang Lang was startled and scared. This toxic tri-inflammation is so domineering. Mu Tran Kuang explained softly, This poison pond has a temperature exceeding 2,000 degrees. Once an ordinary body falls in, it lasts less than three seconds. Even if it is a crazy wind for refining qi, I'm afraid it will only stop. Persevere for no more than a minute, not to mention, inside there is also an extremely overpowering flame toxin, just a little bit of exposure. You will also lose all your cultivation, and then you will be burned to death by poison. As he spoke, he smiled an extremely savage smile. The martial arts master standing behind exclaimed in surprise that they did not expect Yen Doc Tri to be so terrifying. I don't know which unlucky idiot will fall in next. Luckily our luck is not bad, otherwise if we fall in. Look quickly. A person looked up at the sky and shouted loudly, pointing at the three figures that had just been teleported. The unlucky guy has appeared. John Guinea, who was performing martial arts together, and his fat little brother flew in at breakneck speed. Mu Tran Kuang and Lang Gu shouted happily. It was indeed John Guinea. Ha ha ha. John Guinea. I want to see the tragic death with my own eyes. Lam Tian Ne was shocked to realize, it's not okay. We were teleported to Yen Dok Tri above. Little fat junior brother screamed Yen Dok Tri in fear. Ugh, why are we so unlucky? Can you be quiet for a moment? Hey, how can I calm down now? Ignoring the two people arguing loudly behind their backs, Zhang Guni concentrated and thought, it seems like this is a good thing done by Chu Asia's indestructible soul. I am invulnerable to all types of poison. This inflammation can't do anything to me, but the two of them can't. Thinking about it, he quickly lowered it. The fat junior brother screamed in panic AA. This spring I will not come home. Lam Tian Ne had now closed her eyes. She seemed to accept the fact that her fate was about to end. It would be good to die like this. At least I wouldn't be alone. Close your eyes now. Has she accepted the fact that she will die? This girl's heart is too big. The fat junior brother thought in panic, You want to die but I don't want to die yet. John Guni suddenly grabbed his disciples' hands, The two of you, listen to me, go. After saying that, he used all his strength to throw the two people away. The fat junior brother screamed Aya, A. Lam Tian Ne and his fat junior brother landed safely on the bank of the poisonous river. John Guni sadly waved goodbye, Have a good life. John Guni. Lam Tian Ne called his name loudly. However, he was completely submerged, the water level was above his head. Are not! Lam Tian Ne shouted in pain. She was about to rush down, but her fat junior brother stopped her. Damn it, you can't go! You are crazy! She angrily shouted let go, I have to go save Zhang Gani. The little junior brother tried his best to stop him, but he couldn't save him. You don't know how powerful Yen Dok Tri is. The big senior brother is probably no longer in this world now. If you leave, you will die, was no longer in this world. Hearing that, Lam Tian Ne seemed to have completely collapsed. She fell to the ground in a daze. Why? Why did things turn out like this? After so many years, there was finally someone who paid attention to me. And yet, thinking of this, tears rolled down Lam Tian Ne's cheeks. And yet, yet he immediately died. You don't need to be so sad, the fat junior brother gently consoled. From the nearby forest, the five elders witnessed everything. She snorted and said in a skillful voice, After so many years, you still feel like that. It's really disappointing. Because the teacher still has important things to do, you should protect yourself. She immediately ran away in the blink of an eye. A group of martial artists nearby suddenly gathered around senior brother Fat and Lam Tian Ne, loudly commenting, Our new senior senior brother is also too miserable. Fortunately we are not in the same team as senior senior brother. If not only am I afraid that our end will be the same as his, senior brother is really too unlucky. Not long after he took office, he died like that. Lam Tian Ne angrily shouted, No, senior brother has so many spirit essence pills in his hand, it is really possible to rely on spirit essence to protect his body. Perhaps, at this moment, he is using spirit essence pills to prevent the inflammation from corroding his body. Ah, Lam Tian Ne, stop deceiving yourself. Muk Tran Kuang suddenly appeared behind. He sounded disdainful. You are also considered an old disciple of the sect. You should also know the power of Yen Dok Tri. Lam Tian Ne replied in a serious voice. 
I know the power of Yendok Tri, but I know even more the strength of your great deeds. I believe in Big Brother, he will definitely create a miracle, trying to hold back the tears, she said eloquently. Mu Tran Kuang grinned if so. Zhang Guni was alive because of a bet that humiliated my master. If you believe Zhang Guni is still alive, we won't hesitate to bet. Bet? Fat little junior brother suddenly remembered, that's right, those people who bet with senior brother ended up losing miserably. Why is this? Could this be the trump card of a senior brother so powerful that even the sect elders cannot determine it? Although I have never directly bet with senior brother before, the content of the bet is still related to the big event. He immediately made up his mind and could only take one risk. Mu Tran Kuang proposed the betting conditions. Whoever loses among us will voluntarily and willingly become the opponent's cultivation furnace. What do you think? Lam Tian Nei was startled and awkwardly replied. Mu Tran Kuang licked his lips, calculating maliciously. This woman was the Ice Mountain Jade Girl back then. Take this opportunity to suck her dry. If I lose, that's not it. Lam Tian Nei thought to himself in fear. As if reading her thoughts, Mu Tran Tang raised his voice provocatively. Don't you dare? If you say so, in your heart Zhang Guni has already died, isn't that very confident? You. Lam Tian Nei was so angry that he couldn't speak. The fat little junior brother suddenly spoke up. Wait. We bet with you. He secretly thought that the big brother is unpredictable. How can ordinary people compare? He is really good at causing trouble. If I win this game, I will make a big profit. You. Mu Tran Kuang looked at him with half an eye, a look of disgust on his face. How are you going to bet with me? At most, the fat little junior brother pursed his lips tightly. In the worst case, if I lose, I will willingly give this jade body to the person who cultivates the lotus. After saying that, he suddenly blushed and turned away. Muk Tran Kuang shuddered and shouted, Why is your face as red as a monkey's ass? Even if you want it, I don't care, the fat little junior brother asked in a deep voice. Am I not worthy of the title of La Top? Prince Tom La Ka is not even as beautiful as me. Can you look at yourself? I spit on your face, goosebumps all over my body. So you finally bet and don't bet, don't you really want my body? Shut your mouth for me. I couldn't sleep last night because you were there. Looking at the two arguing, Lam Tian Nei secretly admired that although the little fat man was a little distrustful of his senior brother, he was still so steadfast. But I, thinking about it, she said eloquently, I will bet with you. I agree to bet with you, but I'm not as disgusting as you teachers and students. If you lose, you will give me all the spirit essence pills your master gave you. No problem, Muk Tran Kuang immediately agreed. As long as you are willing to be my lot after losing, anything is possible. Pray to attain the great demon. The fat little junior brother suddenly interrupted. What do you two mean by betting? He turned to ask the martial artists, Everyone, do you want to join the table? I bet big brother is still alive. You beat me one for ten, if I beat you one for three. Hearing the conditions he proposed, everyone was excited. What did they say? Is there such a good thing as this? John Guni is definitely dead, so do you even dare to bet on defeat? Is his brain sick? Never mind, he already wants to give money. How can we refuse? The group of martial artists rushed forward. I bet ten spirit essence pills. I bet three. I bet one. The fat junior brother cried out in panic. Why is it so crowded? The crowd is too excited. Jostling and fighting, don't jostle. I come first. One by one, the little chubby shouted. Meanwhile, Zhang Guni is focusing on controlling the toxic inflammation at the bottom of the lake. The announcement continued to sound, and when attacked by the poison, he gained 200,000 potential dragon energy points at once. When attacked by the poison, you can gain 200,000 potential dragon energy points at once. When attacked by the poison, you can gain 200,000 potential dragon energy points at once. Finally, he slowly opened his eyes. Congratulations to the host for accumulating 100,000 potential dragon energy points and activating a special skill beast control technique. John Guinea wondered, the beast rule? Activating beast control requires consuming potential dragon energy points. The more potential dragon energy points consumed, the stronger the beast control ability will be. John Guinea shouted happily, it's great, there is this thing in the east and west, behind me in the forest of demon beasts, isn't it possible to pass by? It's not early anymore, we should go. He did not notice that there was the silhouette of a great sea monster swimming behind him. The strange sound caught Zhang Guni's attention. He looked around wondering what that sound was just now. His eyes suddenly widened, looking horrified. What the hell? Before his eyes was a python swimming around with eyes full of murderous intent, its entire giant body covered with thick blood-red scales. 
John Guni panicked and thought this was the legendary snake venom? I heard Master Kai then say before that this poisonous python snake is the strongest demon beast in this secret realm, with the same strength as Bak Ko Dain Fong. Luckily I just finished learning the beast taming technique. He breathed a sigh of relief, even though he still wasn't very proficient. Then let's use you to experiment. John Guni immediately used his inner strength and beast control technique. At the same time, the python opened its mouth wide to swallow him. When his hand touched the python's mouth, John Guni shouted loudly, starting the battle. John Guni's beast control technique completely covered the python. He burst out laughing excitedly. Oh, haha, I'm about to have a baby. Just thinking about it makes me excited. At that time, I will be the son of the original holy land. Kiki, the beast mastering technique failed. Minus 10,000 points of potential dragon energy. The announcement made John Guni freeze. The silence lasted for a few seconds. John Guni cried out in panic. Is there a chance of failure when playing this? Aren't I the main character? The giant snake angrily rushed forward. He trembled and shouted loudly. Hey snake brother, don't get excited. I was just joking with you a little bit. Ta. Without waiting to finish his sentence, the giant snake swallowed John Guni into its mouth. It cried out in satisfaction, Itadakamatsu. In the belly of the python, John Guni screamed in panic. Why is it so dark in here? I can't see anything. Looks like the snake really swallowed me. System. You squeeze my balls. Wait until I get out and I'll count your number. Looks like we have to use our ultimate move. After saying that, he took out two refined grenades. Little snake, you dare to swallow me. Then don't blame me for making your stomach grow bigger. Then there was only a loud scream and multiple grenades. Before the python could understand what was happening, suddenly its stomach exploded, smoke billowing from its mouth. It quickly spit the fish's cock out. He landed safely. Quickly wipe away the mucus in the snake's stomach that is all over his face. Cough, 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 cough. Finally got out. Damn it. I don't believe I can't cure you. Having said that, John Gundy took out another golden grenade. The snake poison inflammation was so angry that his blood boiled. His eyes were burning with anger. It immediately rushed straight towards John Guni. He jumped up at the same time. Come and go. Several large explosions erupted at the bottom of the river, shaking the entire water surface and both sides of the river. The group of martial artists shouted in surprise, Damn it! Why did the flame poison chi become so intense? I heard that there is a venomous python in the lake. I wonder if that animal is causing a ruckus or not? Kuh, I don't know what Lam Tian Nei and Fatty Chu persisted in. It was already difficult for Zhang Guni to survive in Yen Duk Tri. Now Yen Guni is still causing chaos. How can Zhang Guni survive? Do you think, senior brother really? The fat little junior brother was a little scared. Lam Tian Nei gently reassured, no. He, he will definitely be okay. Mu Tran Kuang suddenly stepped forward and said okay. It's been half an hour, let alone Zhang Guni. Even if he was an elder of the sex Golden Dan level, he wouldn't have been able to last that long. Lam Tian Nei, you lost. He licked his lips happily. You are mine. Muk Tran Kuang reached out his hand, trying to take away Lam Tian Nei. Lam Tian Nei bluntly shook off his hand and got out. Don't touch me. How? Wanna cheat? Muk Tran Kuang asked in a harsh voice. The little girl still hurt when she hit someone. Mu Tran Kuang, even if I die, I will never let evil people like you get what they want. She said seriously. Having said that, Lam Tame jumped up. She fell straight into the lake to commit suicide. She calmly thought to herself, John Guinea, my life was saved by you, but now that you are dead, I will follow you. Mu Tran Kuang immediately chased after him, wanting to die. I won't let you die that easily. In the blink of an eye, he blocked Lam Tian Kai in front of him. Do you think I'm not wary of that move? Obediently returned to me. He threw a palm straight at Lam Tian Nei's chest. She cried out in pain. She was sent flying to the ground with a crash. The fat junior brother shouted in panic, Lam Tian Nei. Are you okay? Lam Tian Nei forced himself to stand up, his whole body trembling. She waved her hand and said I was fine. But the pain could be seen clearly on her face. Lam Tian Nei gritted his teeth angrily. She coldly said Muk Tran Kuang, although my strength is not as good as yours, but if I want to die, then you will have to stop me. After saying that, she immediately clenched her hands and concentrated her strength. Mu Tran Kuang laughed softly, ha ha, you're wrong. In fact, whether you die or not, I don't care. I just don't want you to jump into the toxic lake and make your bones lifeless. Die, hmm? You, what do you want to do? Lam Tian Nei asked in fear. Mu Tran Kuang licked his lips hungrily, happily saying what I mean is, if you die, as long as your body is intact, I can still use it while it's still warm. Faced with his terrifying perversion, 
Lan Tian Nei jumped forward, you bastard. I will kill you, you can't kill me. Muk Tran Zhang releases ropes of spiritual energy. The ropes seemed to have their own consciousness. They tightly tied Lam Tian Nei. Yoke, she fell to the ground in pain. Muk Tran Kuang stepped closer and proudly said, Obediently become my furnace. The surrounding martial artists burst out laughing, Ha ha, it seems that today Lam Tian Nei will be taken in by senior brother Mu Tran Kuang. Her master is a traitor, she is definitely not a good type. No matter how beautiful it is, being collected is worth it. They excitedly said I had no interest in this woman. I only cared about this bet with that fat guy. John Guni is dead. My money will also be more. Mu Tran Kuang reached out. Lam Tian Nei, you should pay the bet. Stop. Suddenly, the fat junior brother rushed forward to shield Lam Tian Nei. Mix. I advise you best not to worry about petty matters. Muk Tran Kuang shouted angrily. The fat junior brother quickly put up his shield and replied eloquently to Mu Tran Kuang. Lam Tian Nei, after all, you are in my team, I hope you can give me some dignity. Without letting him finish, Mu Tran Kuang pulled out the precious sword. Why do you have any face here? Do you think that thanks to your relationship with the Holy Master, you can meddle in my affairs? He swung his sword without mercy. The sound of weapons colliding with each other was extremely deafening. The fat junior brother's shield was immediately broken. Ah, he was blown into a tree in the distance. Lam Tian Nei panicked and called out to the little chubby. Muk Tran Kuang stepped forward and laughed contemptuously. You should take care of yourself. The little fat man braced himself and stood up. Mu Tran Duong, this is a secret realm of Deng Yen, not a holy battlefield. If you kill your fellow disciples, the holy master will definitely not let you go. Mu Tran Kuang replied contemptuously. Humph, being greedy in the mysterious realm, is inherently life and death. Only for those who have the ability, the holy master has long said do not experience killing in the sect. The future battlefield of the holy realm I won't be able to escape death. What's more, I just want to turn her into a lotus, and don't want to kill her, so, Lam Tian Nei, quickly give up. Having said that, he happily pounced. Don't you dare touch me. Lam Tian Nei shouted angrily. Her eyes suddenly became bright. The jade was crushed and the rock shattered. Her whole body radiated a strong aura. At that moment, in the sky, a figure jumped out of the lake. Seeing something strange, Muk Tran Kuang quickly turned around. What? That's... Lam Tian Nei also exclaimed in surprise. From the bottom of the lake, a stream of water gushed out. The martial artists rushed to escape. Ah, what's wrong with Yen Dok Tri? Why did it suddenly erupt? Damn, the lava is flying towards me. Damn it, I'm poisoned. From the rising water, a figure jumped out. Muk Tran Kuang was startled when he realized there was an attacker behind him. Turns out it was Zhang Guni. He angrily kicked the guy in Tran Duong's face shouted loudly and even dared to touch his senior brother's woman. You're tired of living. He was kicked several meters away, hitting the tree trunk and collapsing. Mu Tran Kuang was confused. He stood up, holding his head in pain. He exclaimed in horror, Zhang Guni, are you still alive? Zhang Guni immediately knelt down and asked junior sister Lam, are you okay? I, I'm fine. Zhang Guni, I know I'm still alive. Lam Tian Nei replied tearfully. Zhang Guni made a cool face. Sister Lam, don't worry. As he spoke, his eyes glanced at her body. Sister Lam's body is really not bad. Lam Tian Nei blushed and turned away. Don't, don't look anymore. You quickly help me untie me. T.S.K. Tusk, if this body moves with me in bed, I have to say it will run out of sauce. The perverted thought that just popped into her head made Zhang Guni's nose bleed. Zhang Guni. Suddenly there was a loud voice calling his name. Muk Tran Kuang is walking towards Lang Gu. Unexpectedly you can still survive after falling into Vim Duk Tri. Muk Tran Kuang, John Guni angrily stood up. While I was not here, you bully my people. You guys are tired of living. He warmed up his bones and muscles ready for battle. Lam Tian Nei behind him angrily called hey hey hey. It seems like you forgot something. John Guni. Who among us is tired of living? We don't know. Muk Tran Kuang and Lang Gu shouted in unison. The two people rushed forward at the same time. For a moment, John Guni was startled. Faced with the system's slow announcement, he shouted. Fuck, fuck the system. Your reminders are too slow. There's no time left. We can only attack haphazardly. He gritted his teeth and rose up. The three people's hands clapped together. At that moment, the momentum of the palm force spread out all around. A giant explosion erupted. The column of smoke rose high into the sky. The fat little junior brother hissed worriedly. Even though the big senior brother didn't die in the toxic fire, he would be crippled in the hands of that male and female dog couple. John Guni. Lam Tian Nei called tremblingly. The group of martial artists exclaimed in surprise. 
that attack just now was as powerful as a bamboo base flag. Unexpectedly the combination of Mu Ching Gang and Ling Ling had the power of a bamboo base flag. Zhang Guni is an invincible weapon refiner. Faced with this move, I'm afraid it will be difficult to escape death. Following Muk Tran Kuang is indeed a wise decision. They immediately turned towards the fat junior brother, Tu Ba Tzu. Zhang Guni was dead. No matter what, you have lost now. He was quickly surrounded by martial artists. Quickly hand over Zhang Guni's 1000 spirit pills. We just want to be good for you. Without Zhang Guni to protect you, you have so many spirit essence pills on your body. Your life could easily be in danger. The little fat man quickly grabbed the cloth bag containing the medicine and loudly protested. Hey, you guys can come here. Senior brother isn't dead yet. Hearing that, the martial arts masters were startled and took a step back in fear. Hey, don't worry. Zhang Guni is definitely dead. Muk Tran Kuang's voice suddenly rang out. He and Lang Gu stepped out of the smoke, boasting in a loud voice. The master had passed on to us the secret technique. The combined power of me and Lang Gu had reached the middle foundation stage. Under the bamboo foundation stage it was not. How can there be any chance of survival? Zhang Guni suddenly shot out from the smoke screen, loudly shouting that your master didn't tell you. Don't say anything in advance. What did Mu Tran Kuang and Lang Gu say in surprise? Huh? The martial artist exclaimed in surprise. Zhang Guni is not dead yet? Zhang Guni stood firmly smiled and said that it was truly the power of Bao Ko. He hit me before I had time to react. The little fat man chuckled brightly. Ha 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 ha. Worthy of being a big brother, living as long as a little strong ha ha, he is so strong. Lam Tian Ne was startled and surprised. Zhang Guni, you are really lucky, but you are still alive. Mu Tran Kuang and Lang Gu mobilized their strength and shouted in unison even though you were very strong. But I want to see how many more times you can resist. Zhang Guni, it's okay if you don't die, but before you humiliated me outside the gate, today I have to kill you several times to resolve the hatred in my heart. Standing in front of two enemies burning with anger, Ayang Guni firmly replied that the strength of your male dog and female dog couple when colluding together is something I could not even predict. But, you will never be my opponent. Mu Tran Kuang angrily shouted, not knowing how high and wide the sky and earth are. Let's see if you can still stand this time. Lang Gu stood behind, secretly worried that Zhang Guni still had a trump card? Or let Muk Tran Kuang stand first. Paralyzing the inflammation cell, the combined attack took the shape of a powerful tiger and rushed towards Zhang Guni. He stood tall, not afraid at all. Even the fake spirit beasts wanted me? Summon the divine dragon. Zhang Guni waved his hand to summon. From below the surface of the lake, poisonous snakes emerged from the lake. Now I will show you what is the true beast spirit. Little Gwyn. Come play with them for me. Receiving the command, the great snake immediately rushed forward to meet the fierce tiger. What? Mu Tran Kuang and Lang Lang cried out in panic. With just one bite, the tiger's entire body was shattered. Ah. Uh. Mu Tan Kuang painfully spat out a mouthful of blood. The group of martial artists ran away. Some held their heads in fear and asked each other in confusion, what happened just now? The power just now was more than enough to easily kill a peak bamboo expert. Who is Tu Gwyn? Why is it so strong? His naked body fell straight to the ground. Ling Ling silently breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately I hid behind Muk Tran Kuang. Otherwise we would both have been seriously injured. Cough cough, cough cough. Mu Tran Kuang forced himself to sit up, continuously coughing up blood. He turned around and asked you, are you okay? I, I'm okay, senior brother, are you okay too? I'm okay. Mu Tran Kuang thought to himself, as long as my furnace is okay, I can run away. Suck her dry, and quickly restore my strength. Leng Gu also constantly calculated, the more seriously injured Mu Tran Kuang, as long as he and I can escape from this place alive, I can take the opportunity to refine him. Zhang Guni immediately walked over and softly asked if you were very desperate. Now, quickly say your last words. Mu Tran Kuang panicked and asked you, You actually tamed the poisonous python? Looks like this is your will. Zhang Guni immediately ordered, Little Gwyn, eat him. Receiving the command, the venomous python immediately opened its mouth and crawled forward. Wait. Muk Tran Kuang suddenly raised his voice to stop. He strained his neck to reason Jiang. Jiang Gini, this, this place is a secret realm of Deng Yen, not a holy domain battlefield. You harmed your fellow students, the saint. The saint will definitely not let you go. John Guni raised his eyebrows and replied, If I remember correctly, this is what the little fat man said to you. Already. So what? Mu Tran Kuang exclaimed. I still clearly remember what you said at that time. 
exploring the secret realm is a matter of life and death, depending on your ability. The Holy Master has also said that if you do not experience killing in the sect, it will be very difficult to escape death when you come to the Holy Domain battlefield in the future. He repeated smilingly. Mu Tran Quang was startled in fear. Cold sweat poured down his forehead. He quickly bowed his head to the ground and begged, Yes, it is true that I said so, but, but those are all just lies. The Holy Master will definitely take care of it. Please, spare my life. I vow to honor you as a big brother. Faced with that situation, the group of martial artists screamed in surprise. They didn't expect Zhang Guni to be able to tame the poisonous python. No wonder Zhang Guni can survive in the toxic lake. Damn it, we picked the wrong siege in our team this time. I tell you, behind them there was suddenly an angry call. You, what do you want to do? The little fat man replied in a deep voice. Nothing. Didn't you just want to steal the spirit essence pill from me? I don't think it's rude to come, you guys tell me. A martial arts master trembled and begged, asking, discussing, could, could he give us some dignity? For your mother's daughter, the little fat man shouted loudly, giving him a huge slap in the face. The martial artist was sent flying a few meters away. He was still very young and green. As for you, little fat man, look back. We are absolutely no problem. So today, no one is allowed to leave, except for the clothes on the body. All other things are handed over to me. The little fat man loudly ordered, Otherwise I will tell senior brother to throw you all into Yen Dok Tri. The group of martial artists were scared and replied in unison. No problem, no problem. As long as they don't kill us, whatever they want is fine. I don't need any clothes, I give them to you. Just save my life. Oh, oh, next time we have to research before choosing team A. From the edge of the forest not far away, a figure wearing a cloak covering his head softly hissed, Damn it! This little guy Zhang Guni can not only survive in the poisonous bamboo pond, he can also tame the poisonous python snake. How can he be so lucky? It turned out that it was the fourth elder's son. She secretly thought that the Deng Yan Chao map was still on Muk Tran Duong's body. She couldn't let him die like that. Make me a big brother? Zhang Guni asked contemptuously, Ah, but I'm sorry, you're not worthy of being my junior brother. Little guy kill him. In front of the python's wide open mouth, Muk Tran Kuang panicked and shouted something was wrong. He immediately deployed a golden shield, soft body armor protection. Python venom easily penetrates that barrier. The soft body armor was broken in the blink of an eye. Mu Tran Kuang's eyes widened, it seems this time. It's really over. Xiao Gwen rushed down. A huge explosion rose up, causing smoke to fly. The group of martial artists in a state of being stripped of their clothes commented in surprise. Zhang Guni's Mo and Pets are too strong. Muk Tran Kuang and Lang Gu teamed up. Their strength has reached the bamboo base stage. But they did not expect that their skills Zhang Guni's ability is one level higher. Big Senior Brother is truly invincible. It seems that if you want to bet in the future, no matter what the situation is, you must stand on Big Senior Brother's side. Looks like this time is really over. Zhang Guni thought proudly. Suddenly, a powerful palm shot out from below the python's mouth. What? Zhang Guni cried out in panic. Snake poison inflammation fell unconscious. Zhang Guni hurriedly ran to call Tu Guin. S.I. 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 It hurts so much. He silently groaned. Zhang Guni immediately reassured him that it's okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Hmm? Zhang Guni was startled and discovered that there was a new enemy. He carefully observed the woman wearing a cloak and veil who had just appeared. Who is this guy? Even a top-level bamboo machine like Tu Yuan can still make a move. Could it be that she is a strong person in the Golden Dan realm? Muk Tran Kuang happily shouted that the mysterious person called by the master came to assist our group. That's great. We are saved. Zhang Gu Ni, prepare to accept death. The woman said softly. She immediately took out a sharp dart. Zhang Gu Ni glared in recognition. Loi Q. Could it be that you are? Die. Before he could finish his sentence, the woman immediately launched a lightning dart. Not good. Zhang Guni quickly threw a grenade in response. The moment the two weapons collided, a huge explosion immediately erupted. The group of martial artists exclaimed in surprise that the woman just now was able to easily block the attack of the venomous python. Her strength was probably already at the golden pill level. I'm afraid that Big Brother will have cold feet when he leaves this time. Damn it. Fart. How many times have we been punished for not standing up for Senior Brother? This time we have to stand by Senior Brother's side. You're right, in the past, every time I stood on the opposing side, senior brother I lost. This time we have to be steadfast in our faith, and stand on senior brother's side. Every time, senior brother can face evil and coldness. 
This time we can definitely win. Ah. Uh. John Gurney cleared his throat and coughed. Cough, 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 cough. The smoke gradually flew away. John Gurney was blown away to the rock in the distance. Mom said Big Brother lost? The group of martial artists shouted, This move is wrong. Why do we bet on whoever wins? That person loses, John Gurney softly called Fifian. Prince, I didn't expect you to be an elder, but you actually hid your identity and came to kill me. This place is the secret realm of Dungveem. It's not a holy battlefield, so he reasoned, said there was evidence in the books. If you harm your fellow students, the holy master will definitely not forgive you. The elder man smiled and replied, I remember what you just said. This is exploring the secret realm. Life and death have a destiny. You have to be strong. The saint has already said that. There is no killing in it. Sect, in the future it will be difficult to escape death in the holy domain battlefield. John Gurney raised the protest sign and shouted angrily. You copied my words. I want to sue you. Muk Tran Kwong awkwardly said John Gurney, aren't what you said my words? The little guy scratched his head confused. I was the one who initiated it. You guys were the ones who copied my words. The elder prince spoke harshly and said stop talking nonsense. John Gurney, you should be on your way. She immediately used her strong energy and injected it into the lightning dart. Are you sure that you will kill me? John Gunny said contemptuously. The prince raised his eyebrows and replied, Do you think a little guy can survive in my hands? Once that's the case, so do you dare to bet with me? Let's bet on whether I can survive in your hands or not, he happily suggested. The prince shouted in a loud voice, Are you a gambling ghost? Bet again. Don't you get tired? Are you trying to trick me again? The little fat man hid behind a junior brother, muttering that brother John Gunny wanted to bet again. Does he still have a way to save his life? Or is betting the only way to save Brother John Guinea's life? That junior brother grimaced and thought to himself, Could you not stand behind me in reason? I'm also afraid of death. I won't bet with a dead man. Having said that, the elder prince immediately threw the lightning spear towards John Guinea. Go to die. The little fat man cried out in panic that this assassin didn't follow the assigned script. Senior brother really left this time. Teacher. The group of martial artists exclaimed in surprise, What kind of situation is this? And when you mention betting, that golden pill powerhouse suddenly becomes angry. The powerhouse of the golden pill realm attacks with all his might. Can John Guinea still win? Damn it, regardless of whether I win or not, I will never side with anyone again. Very quickly, John Guinea jumped into the sky, narrowly avoiding the thunderbolt. What? You launched a series of grenades wanting to kill me? Dream. Don't think that I don't have other tricks. What? The elder prince was suddenly attacked and screamed. The grenades created a huge explosion, the momentum radiating around. The little fat man happily shouted, Winning? Lin Tian Nei quickly said it wasn't that easy. That assassin was a strong man in the Golden Core realm. The smoke dispersed, the prince slowly walked out, not expecting that you actually had the means to attack at the peak of your strength. Unfortunately, for the Golden Pill realm like me, it's just like an ant bite. She suddenly widened her eyes and asked, Where are you? Look here, beautiful lady. John Guni's call suddenly rang out from behind the prince HM, try this. Above his head were hundreds of golden grenades. The prince cried out in panic, hundreds of lightning in a row. Hand out grenades for a grand ceremony. John Guni waved his hand and threw it down. The tremor from the explosion was so great that it spread to the forest on the other side. Damn it! Hey mom, are you launching fireworks? The martial artists widened their eyes and shouted, Damn it! Senior brother eight and told me if it was okay. That assassin's name is too dark when facing senior brother. Thirty seconds later, Lam Tian Nei shook and told John Guinea, can't you run a little slower? I'm really tired, can you, can you let me go? You make me so dizzy. While carrying her on his shoulder, John Guinea quickly ran away. He shouted a fart dizzyingly. You have to hurry and get away. My grenades can only temporarily stop her. If you feel dizzy, try to endure it, John Guinea. I must kill you. Coming out of the explosion, the elder prince's hair was as curly as a cabbage. She screamed in anger. Don't run! She frantically threw the dart at him. The little guy was dragged on the ground and moaned asterisk percent hashtag percent. My handsome face. I was so dizzy. John Guni was sweating profusely and exclaimed that she was wearing so little. Where are so many lightning bolts hidden? I turned down and reminded the little guy that if she comes after me, you should throw this stuff at her. Holding hundreds of grenades in his hand, the little guy suddenly exclaimed, Is this what senior brother just threw? Correct. 
break your fist and throw it out to detonate. After receiving instructions for use, the little guy happily threw the grenade at the prince. Good guy. I just wanted to see how strong this golden pill realm powerhouse is. It was because I was careless before, but now I'm prepared. It's impossible for me to get hit like this again. After speaking, the prince launched a torpedo dart and knocked the grenade towards John Gunny. The grenade fell and lit up. Why is the little fat man moaning? Why did he fly back? John Gunny was shocked before he could react. Another loud explosion erupted, shaking the whole forest. The squirrels shouted angrily, Chi Chi Chi. It's so noisy. How can people rest? What the heck? Husband, don't pay attention to them. Yoke, three people lay flat after standing in the epicenter of the explosion. John Gunny woke up. He held his head and sat up. Damn it. But he was hit by his own grenade. John Gunny, let me see what other tricks you have. The prince stepped forward and asked. John Gunny glared and thought, damn. The current situation doesn't look very good. Leave everything to me. Lam Tian Nei suddenly spoke up. Her whole body was filled with aura. Her eyes had turned blue. Little Fatty and John Gunny exclaimed in surprise. What is this situation? She, is she still hiding her big tricks? What? The prince is no less surprised. The ice pearl is on you. This girl's body actually contains such a huge source of energy. Phone. Phone Bing Pearl wasn't taken away by the five elders? Why is he on Lam Tame's body now? Maybe, the little fat man secretly speculated. Ha ha. I didn't expect the ice pearl to still be on your body. The prince gave me an extremely sinister smile. It's true that heaven is helping me. Die. She released hundreds of lightning darts. The one who must die is you. Lam Tian Nei immediately waved his hand and released ice wind in response. The two powers collided, creating an energy explosion. Jiang Guni was startled and said that the aura was too strong. The little guy worriedly said to senior brother, Lam Tian's art was just a weapon refining stage. There was no way to exert the full power of the wind ice speed. She stopped him. The resistance won't last long. Let's run away quickly. The battle ahead is happening so fast that the naked eye cannot keep up. Jiang Guni is steadfast in saying no. In order to save our group, she did not hesitate to use the power sealed in her body. How could we ignore her? The little guy sighed softly. Alas, Lam Tian Nei directly used the power of the wind ice pearl, just wanting us to take the opportunity to escape. We must not let her suffer. Jiang Guni suddenly remembered. He asked Fong Bang Chao. You mean her body contains a magic weapon? The little man replied softly. That's right. It was rumored that the fifth elder stole the wind ice pearl but he didn't expect that he was in Lam Tian Nei's body. Originally, Lam Tian Nei and Gu were both the same group of people, but shouldn't be, it hasn't been revealed for so many years, why do you want to reveal it now? It won't be as simple as rescuing senior brother, right? Senior brother doesn't have such great charm. Zhang Guni nodded, so that's it, we have something to do. He curled his lips into a smile. On this side, the prince makes a move. Lam Tian Nei's direct blow to the body. She cried out in pain, coughing, coughing and the ice pearl surrounding her body had almost disappeared. The prince took the opportunity and rushed forward. The ice pearl is mine, great beauty. Be careful of hitting your head. A call from behind made her stop. John Guni didn't know when he appeared. He threw dozens of grenades towards the prince. What? What? A huge explosion enveloped the temple. John Guni reached out and caught the wind ice pearl. Very quickly he jumped out of the smoke screen after the explosion. This is mine, John Guni said with a smile. He clenched his fist absorbing the wind ice pearl into his body. Ah, before the giant power of the pearl, Zhang Guni braced herself to defend. The little fat man was worried and called out to his senior brother. Peak refinement could only use a portion of the power of the wind ice bead, and was no match for her at all. But will still be betrayed. One layer of power is not enough, so... Zhang Guni gritted his teeth and hissed. He roared, continuing to activate his power, increasing many levels. The master's talent is restored. 